I'm tired of playing my favorite tabletop RPGs as one of the old boring races. I don't want those generic store brand backstories. I want to roll a character with a bit more <laughs> character. Well, Roll for Combat is here to help with their incredible new book, Battle Zoo Ancestries Classic Creatures, which gives you the power to create the character of your dreams. Dig into 12 unique playable monster races in this beautifully printed, massive, hard cover book filled with in-depth descriptions, abilities, lore, and more. Send that dusty old dwarf right back to the mines and live out your isekai fantasy by becoming an actual intelligent weapon that you wield yourself. Or you could let a friend grab you instead. <laughs> Teamwork. Put that elf back on the shelf and become a sentient dungeon, complete with traps, treasures, and a living avatar. You could even put an end to the age of man and become a shape-shifting mimic. Y you know, those things that gave you trust issues ever since you were eaten by one in Dark Souls? Ooh, that could be you. Click the link below or head on over to BattleZoo.com to secure your copy of BattleZoo Ancestry's classic creatures today and become the life of your adventuring party. Well, hello, everyone, and <laughs> welcome to uh, Second Wind Plays. Uh, I'm, I'm Marty. I am joined by Jesse, and today we are honored uh, to be wishing a big ol' HBD to Silent Hill 1, turning 25 years old. It came out this day, February 23rd, 1999, on the PS1. Uh, Jesse, how are you doing? Yeah, I am doing fantastic, and I'm so excited for Silent Hill. I'm thrilled. You are. You are. When when I was like, well, I want to do an HBD, I was like, there's only one person I can call. And it was Jesse. Because the last the last two Friday streams Aww. we've done have not been Jesse games, but I'm like, we got one. We got a Jesse game here. <laughs> yeah. This I, I mentioned in the YouTube chat for the pre pre stuff mm -hmm. earlier, like an hour or so ago. Yeah, Silent Hill is is the thing that got me into horror as a genre. Oh, like, I love I that. I was not into horror and then I played this game. And I played like Dino Crisis and Resident Evil, mm -hmm. and I was like, "This is cool." But I played this and was like, "Oh, yeah, You're like this is the this real is deal. This is what horror can do." Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, yeah. It's uh, it was iconic. Yeah, in terms of games, like Silent Hill and Resi One on the PS One were the things that that absolutely got me. So, um, in honor of that, I I busted out my PS Three. It was an actual legal street legal PS Three, uh, which wow. has such hit games as Eco and Tulip, which is a game about kissing. And God Hand, which is what? a game about punching, Cookies and Cream, which is a FromSoft game about friendship, but we're yeah. and, and Gex, which is kind of a game about like a gecko who harasses people. But we're here to play Silent Hill, so we're gonna we're gonna just jump into Silent Hill. We're just gonna play the first two hours or so. Probably get through the school. Um, uh, and chat, let us know uh, how volumes sound. Let us know how uh, my volume sounds, how Jesse's volume sounds. Uh, once we get into the game, how the game sounds. I can tweak things. Uh, and, and before we get started, I'll also right off the bat, thank you so much. I see memberships, I see donos. Uh, welcome everyone on Twitch, everyone on YouTube. Uh, Keeper Days, uh, re up in that uh, Twitch sub. Thank you so much. It's been three months. I don't know if that's only three months or already three months reaction. It is, I don't know. Yeah. It's, every. I feel like not knowing is correct. Every Friday, um, Jesse Schwab, not you, mm -hmm. one of our several Jessies, puts a, yeah. a little, like a, I believe it's a SpongeBob goof. In, into our general chat about how it's Friday and every Friday I'm like there's no way it's been another week <laughs> like there's no human way it has been another week uh, but sure enough it has been another week every week it's, it's been it's, another one it's it's, it's uh, impossible to believe uh, Venom on Killer been two months in the Green Gang thank you so much Baba Booey Silent Hill birthday Baba Booey thank you so much Venom on Killer and George Lucas tip jar for two months Green Gang welcome welcome uh, first off, Kira Yamaoka. What a tune. What a tune! Oh my God. <laughs> All, the first four Silent Hill soundtracks yeah. are out of this world good. Yeah. Like, they're, they're so good. Yeah, yeah. He makes such great music. I watch this opening every once in a while because it's just such like a fucking tone piece, a mood piece. Mm -hmm. It's also weird because this opening has footage, like this footage of them driving, I believe, is not... Once you start the game, you don't see this stuff, so you need to like watch the pre-credit preamble before you even start a game in order to get like, oh, okay, him and his daughter are driving into town. I mean, you could probably, I'm going to be honest, you could probably just pick that up from context clues of yeah, it being like, where's my daughter? Car. Yeah. Um, I did a yeah. replay of this. When was the last time you, you uh, played and or replayed oh, this? Oh my gosh. It was it was a street legal disc copy. 
on a PS1 is the last time I played Street this. So it was legal. It was a long time ago. Yeah. Uh, but it it sticks with me. Yeah. And I want to replay it. I wish they would. Because it, the, can you still buy it on PSN or is this like only if on and then you can purchase it on PSN, but uh-huh. you can only play it on a PS3 through that okay. purchase. So that is why wow. I busted out my PS3. Yeah, uh, I, there's no and like Silent Hill two and three, you can still play using the collection on modern consoles. Silent Hill four mm. is still tethered to that generation or stealing, or I think there Ooh. might be a uh, GOG version. Maybe? Yeah, GOG yeah. has a PC release. Nice. Um, so as we see here, uh, this is a game by Harry Mason. Uh, Driver to Silent Hill his daughter, Cheryl Mason. Before they get to town, they see a girl in the middle of the road, and he uh, veers off um, and uh, crashes. Easy. No, I like how the difficulties are like in quotes. Like, easy in quotes. No, we're doing easy. We're do- what are we doing? There's too many spookies. It's easy. I was going to do... So I, I, I played this game. I played all four of them on my personal stream, twitch.tv slash McBiggity. Um, at McBiggity. I don't know how URLs work. Uh... Uh, in October and so I had a save file and I could have started a new game plus but I read new game plus is up the difficulty and I'm like I'm not here for that <laughs> even if there's something new I am not here for that yeah you do get some new items and stuff when you because I, I think I beat this game like five times oh wow like, yeah while I had it yeah it, it, look, it made a big impact yeah the Silent Hill games are very much you know multiple endings play through a couple times to get mm-hmm. new uh, weapons and stuff uh you know, you have yep. your serious endings, your goof endings. Yep. I have personally seen every ending in this game from my own save files. That's very impressive. I have personally seen it via Googling all uh, Silent Hill endings and watching them <laughs> on a YouTube video. <laughs> That's probably prefer. Yeah. Uh, hey, Nick the OG. Yes, I did, tr- I did play through it to try and get the ambulance ending, and that's how I learned it was fake. Oh, is that like an old, uh, uh, like an yeah. old, an old, an old wives' tale? Mm-hmm. That's one of those freaking GameFacts.com discussion board Fuck. playground things where it's like, well, what have you gotten? This you one? can get Mew if you go under the truck in uh-huh. Lavender Town. Yep. Liars! How dare you? Yeah, and it's it, like the way it's put together is fairly convincing mm-hmm. because of like they do call back to specific p- specific items. And stuff that happens in the game that's like, this is oddly out of place that you have interaction with this ambulance but can't do anything with yeah. it. Yeah. Like, is that true? So it's, they, whoever made that, props to you. You did a good yeah, job. Yeah, you're a good trickster. <laughs> you're yeah, one of that, history's that best person, tricksters. <laughs> that Where person probably, going? like, writes SCPs yeah, or yeah. something. <laughs> like, keeps that dream alive. There you Wait, go. Stop. Uh, Imano Ab, uh, thank you so much for resubbing on tier one over in Twitch. We appreciate it. And Paul with a two dollar dono. Hey, it's a Jess. It's one of the many it Jesses. It is a Jess. Hey, there are yeah, Jess are legion. Yep. Uh, Divic with five dollars also on YouTube says this game still hits hard all these years later. Lots of feels, good horror, and stands among the greats. Love to see you guys playing it. Yeah, yeah. Jesse and I were just talking the other night about how. Um, all four of the originals are like really fucking good and like yeah. one of the first off it's crazy that we got silent hill 2 3 and 4 all on a single console generation because that just doesn't happen yeah. anymore um but how different they all feel like after mm. the success of silent hill 2 you could have just easily been like oh well the sequel is just gonna be it but more but like uh everything with heather in three and then especially everything in the room feels so different like each mm-hmm. game, it's like hard for me to say what my favorite one is because they all feel like a different thing. It doesn't feel like it's just like, oh, we keep iterating and it keeps getting better. Like they feel like they have a different, uh, like uh, like they went in with like a different goal in mind, which makes them really mm-hmm. really friggin' interesting. Broken wheelchair. We're getting some nice Silent yeah. Hill Dutch angles here. Which, Love their uh, Dutch angles. The camera's just getting friggin' wonky. Oh, I'm I'm stuck. Yeah, I love their their use of like that camera swoop right there and yeah. like how it kind of moves around. That's so good. And it's like nauseating. They, the music now is uh-huh. just like industrial like thumping and ugh. yeah, mm-hmm. it's 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 great. What is this? Yeah, Every, everything What's about it is gross on? and terrible, yeah. and I love it. Uh, also, hot creamy fart tip jar two months. Thanks. Welcome, hot creamy fart. Uh oh, <laughs> little baby's little baby's getting me. Bite my ankles. They're gonna stab you. Yeah, I think I just gotta 
It's got to take the L, to be honest. That is true. You are supposed to die here. Yeah. So you can wake up. In a, in a coffee shop with your cop friend. Yep. Uh, Hobo Joe said, the voice acting, though, is not great. Uh, agreed. Oh, it. <laughs> okay, here. <sighs> what? You're probably okay. right. And I haven't played this in so long that I'm not thinking about I'm remembering it. Sure. I'm not, like. But one of the things, first of all, in some of the voice acting, it had to, like, load between lines. Mm -hmm. So there's really weird pregnant pauses. Yeah, like, nothing's a conversation. Everything's like, here is a line, yeah, like, and now we are going to play the second yeah. line. They're like, what do you mean? Do you uh, yeah. <laughs> that they're missing. Like, there's yeah. definitely some Run stuff. Uh, in Silent Hill 3, I'm right, specifically, they kind of call back to that, it. which makes sense because 3 is... A sequel more of a to sequel one. to one yeah, yeah. and like playing through that the dialogue is so stilted and weird mm -hmm. that it starts off like oh this is kind of like oh my gosh who directed this this is not just got and then like as it's going and things just get weirder and weirder it's like I don't know what happened. okay it just becomes another element that's unsettling yeah that's like yeah so weird in a all right Am I, I'm the one who's doing this wrong, right? Right? Like I, like it's just everything Have about it is is there to girl? screw with you. Yeah, and, and it, I feel like it works. It's interesting because when I replayed um, Short, two, hair. two had the option to use the original oh voices God. or new voice yeah. acting that they had for um, the HD the releases on like 360 and PS3 and stuff. And I believe that it included Where is was it, it like Troy Baker? I think was. Maybe, or maybe I'm Mr. Murray. But anyways, I, I played with the new ones and I really liked it. But people are mm -hmm. like, oh, you are losing so much of, like, the, like, intentionality of the originals. Like, the original ones were kind of, like, bad. In like, uh, you know, these this, uh, these games are, are definitely inspired by David Lynch and, and the works like mm -hmm. that. Where it's like, oh, we did this with a purpose. Harry. Harry yeah. But also, it's, like... It's at, very much off. For, at the time, yeah. like... I don't know, most games kind of, especially if you're playing on consoles, like most oh, yeah. in games outside of like Metal Gear maybe was uh, like pretty like Resident Evil 1, pretty junk, Castlevania Symphony of the Night, pretty junk, uh, like great games, junk VO. Uh, yeah. That RE1. <laughs> <laughs> is this Chris's blood? That, that is uh, very much on its own it. own level of yeah. bad. I what feel like this is like unnervingly weird. Uh, where RE1 like, is just like... Oh, this is just... You guys just grabbed, like, someone off the streets. No I was like, you speak English, yeah. get in here. It's dangerous out there. Chill! <laughs> <Jill. laughs> like, it's just... Everything is... In that case, I need to find her now. Cheryl's my little uh, girl. Uh, just leave her Hobo Joe. Herself. Yeah, this game very much influenced by Jacob Ladder. Yes, this and Silent Hill have 2 have done? a lot of... I think yeah. two more so than one have a lot um, of, like... No some theming and some like visual callbacks and stuff too. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you get Jacob's, Jacob's Ladder, Ladder which is a you get, great movie. It's an incredible movie, yeah. Um Jacob's Ladder, that Twin Peaks, me. like you mentioned Hobo mm -hmm. Joe the Mist. Um Before like it's not even oh, shy yeah. about those like shoes. all the street names oh, of Silent no. Hill are named after like famous like horror authors and it, stuff like that. Yeah. Which is fine. Yeah, I don't know, it's fine. Like I don't know where your where your inspirations like a badge honor. Yeah, I agree. I think it works really well. Mm -hmm. yeah. And like, because they do right. enough with it that like, it's, while it's, it's calling back to some of those Your things, it is by no means a, uh, as like, as I can. like a rip off or anything. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, it doesn't feel derivative of that. A hundred percent. It feels influenced yeah. by. Completely agree. Got a flashlight. I don't think, do you think it, it's probably not legal for a cop to just like give a civvy a gun, right? <laughs> I, given the situation, uh, you know, <laughs> I, I think, I definitely think Sybil will, if, you know, she makes it out of here, depending on the ending, uh, you know, she's going to leave that out of the report <laughs> yeah. that she gave Harry a gun, but like, she should give Harry a gun. <laughs> We have our cool, our cool. Uh, someday someone may experience these bizarre events. Hopefully they'll find my notes useful. Your note is just like my name was Harry and I was yeah. at a cafe. Oh, I just... love uh, like contextual save points. Like the that's the thing that two, three, and four all did that it's like did differently. That it's like I understand why you did it, but like eh. yeah, I love that it's like this is a notepad and i'm writing something down for someone else and that's your safe yeah point. yeah whereas like, like what is like in resi like what's the deal with like the the typewriter the typewriter yeah and like two is a red block 
Like, all right. Kind of yeah, spooky. yeah. The red block. Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah. And then three, it's the the uh, Halo of the Sun, the seal. That's right. Yeah. Which is cool, but less contextual. And then in four, it's I think it's also a notepad in four or your answering machine. It's something in your apartment. Mm, yeah, but you can find stuff. You can save outside of it, can't you? That's true. There is. I think there is. I forget what it is. I feel like I should be able to remember. I literally played through all four of them just like three months ago. <laughs> too many games. I played too much Final Fantasy since then. Look, I, it was either last year What's or the that? year before when I also uh, played through huh. four. So radio. I should remember, and I do not. What's going on with that radio? What is going on with this radio? What is? I love this framing. It's great. It's great. Oh, there's a spookster. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Also, how high is this freaking ceiling in this cabin? Yeah, in this diner? <laughs> this is not a dream. I, th I, I find those weird flesh flying monsters so creepy. Oh, yeah. They're, everything's creepy in town. Everything's just a weird... Uh, yeah. yeah, I can't remember. Is, like, the stuff in this supposed to be, like, animals that were... Because in 2, it's all of, like... Uh, I guess without mm -hmm. spoiling it, James is kind of, like, psychosomatic kind of manifestations and demons that are the enemies right. that appear. Whereas in this, it's, like, based on, like, the animals in Cheryl's... Cheryl had, like, an animal uh, book or something? Some of them, it, it depends. So, like, some of them are... It's all based on Cheryl. Sure, so, yeah. Or, or um, really, it's based on Alessa. Yeah, yeah. Who's, but, uh, so yeah, there's like something about a fear of dogs. Sure. That, or why there's dogs. Like, I forget what it is. The other children are like those that bullied her. And, oh, like, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, stuff like that. And then the nurses for when she was in the hospital and the doctors. Pterodactyls are, um, pterodactyls are sick. I forget what the pterodactyls represent. But there is something with Alessa. Flying dinosaurs. That's that's fair. They're yeah. terrified. Can you imagine a huge ass dinosaur just flying be, at you? Be horrifying. You gotta go it serpent can, it can, better. Yeah, it could use a whole different plane than you. <laughs> just running from one's bad enough. Uh, and uh, Super Beans asked, are you guys playing on an emulator? I'm not. No, I'm playing on... Uh, I downloaded a uh, the PS1 version on a PS3 that I purchased, used a few years ago. Um, using a very wonky third-party controller. So <laughs> this oh, controller yeah. feels like it's going to, like, fall apart my hands. Do you have the Logitech weird, like, really bubbly one that it, feels no, awful? No, it looks... Like at a glance, it looks like a PS3 controller, but like Is it the chainsaw. Oh okay. no! But it's like when you look at the buttons, like these aren't like real buttons, and you look at this middle thing that just says P3 in the middle, and it just feels light and chintzy. I think it's like a, it's just a knockoff, which is fine. Steel pipes. There. How do you? Uh, what? Where? Where do you stand on uh, in horror games? Limited it's inventory it's or? Uh, or um, mm. unlimited Jeez. inventory. A hundred percent depends. Okay. Like, if the game is built around, like this game is not built around limited inventory because the amount of backtrack you need to do is like yeah. contextual within the story, and like finding your way through. So having uh, unlimited inventory makes sense. Yeah. Also, it is made so you should be like constantly looking and being like. Oh, I got seven med packs. I'm doing well. Yeah. I'll start using melee weapons. Yeah. And then you just get absolutely <laughs> decked by a dog or something and burn through like three med packs. And this you're is like, I gotta go back to guns. Yeah, yeah. And then you're sweating it because it's like, but I didn't find that much ammo. So like if it's built purposely for, oh, speaking of dogs. Yeah, speaking of dogs, is fucking uh, jumping out of nowhere. <laughs> yeah, if it's built for that, then absolutely. Uh, versus, yeah, if you're like, oh, I can only carry so much and I have to go back for it, and it's not made for that sort of backtracking, then it feels like a slog. Yeah. But if it's made for that, then it's like, okay, it works out. And, like, things like, you know, durability on weapons mm -hmm. could absolutely work in a horror game. But yeah. still got to be kind of built for it. Because, like, how often do you find weapons? Where do you find them? How much, you know, there, there's more balancing involved. Sure, sure. Right. So 
I'll, I'll, yeah, that's a lame answer, but really, it's just I don't know. Did they do it well? Then I, I mean, like honestly, that. that's usually usually the correct answer is uh, it depends. Yeah. <laughs> it depends. It's like well, it's uh, you know whatever uh, uh, whatever the situation uh, calls for. Like in Resi, it kind of makes sense because Resi is uh, its looping mm-hmm. design means that you're constantly uh, exactly going back on yourself. You know, if the area is designed well, it means there should be plenty of. Uh, there should be plenty of item boxes and uh, you know right. chances to go back. So you kind of make a mm-hmm. mental note of the space. Whereas, yeah. yeah, the amount of circles you run in Resident Evil, which I love, makes makes it really spot on for having the limited inventory and yeah. either putting stuff in the crate or leaving it and just remembering. I know where those green herbs are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm doing. A, I'm, I'm replaying uh, Resi Two Remake right now. On- Ooh, it's so good. Streaming. Yeah, it's fantastic. But that's also, and that does a good job of like, um, you find fanny packs pretty often that uh, give you extra inventory spaces and stuff. And you know, again, the 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 map is dot designed in sort of that, you know, classic kind of Metroidvania style of you're constantly looping back in and of yourself, and uh, mm-hmm. you're never too far away from uh, from a familiar spot. Yeah, totally agree. Uh, and Fungus Finder with two dollars says, and don't even get him started on water dinosaurs. Don't get me started. Wait, how do you water feel about water dinosaurs? dinosaurs? Well, they're you know, I mean, they're not real dinosaur. If you're talking like ichthyosaur and plesiosaur they're and all not, that, like, they, why not, do they got a sword at like, the end? It's because it's called something else. Take that science. Yeah. <laughs> uh, like well also like pterodactyls not actual dinosaurs because the thing that qualifies as dinosaurs i will try and hold this together as close as short as possible is like the one of the things is their placement of legs where lizards tend to be like this and have like a wide leg thing and dinosaurs their hips are in it's one of the main things what have you guys done you got jesse talking about dinosaurs i'm done i'm done talking about that i won't say anymore save it for monday save it for (laughs) hot monday energy yeah, then I'll talk about dinosaurs for like three hours. We'll yeah. go uh, an hour over. Uh, and what's up, Max Darrett? Uh, back in the back in the chat, Max has an incredible uh, YouTube channel um, about uh, kind of the the, the uh, psychology of a lot of games, and uh, has has covered a ton of Silent Hill games in the past too. Oh, Wonderful YouTube are... channel. Highly highly recommend Max's channel. Max was here when Yachts and I played the uh, short message. Did you play the short message? I guess I don't know. Do you have a PS5? I don't have a PS5, so I did not play it. Yeah, short message is a little... Uh, it's um, it's not the worst Silent Hill. It's in turn, I, okay. I think it is a... Uh, oh, I don't know. I thought the whole game froze. Um, it, it is... I think it's, it's comfortably in the middle ground of Silent Hill. I think it is nowhere near the highs of the original 4 and PT. Um, but I also find mm-hmm. it, maybe it's because it's relatively brief, but I find it more enjoyable than um, some of the uh, some of the more recent Western installments. That's good. Yeah. Uh, that's not a high bar. So no, it's a, it's, I'm, I'm going to be honest, it's an extremely low bar. <laughs> it's, it's a relatively like, low bar. Like I enjoy, I haven't played Origins and I haven't played Downpour, oh. but I really don't want to play Downpour. Uh, and maybe one day I'll try Origins. Um, Homecoming was awful, and uh, Shattered Memories fun. Oh, like, Shattered Memories is great. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. No complaints about Shattered Memories for me. And Ascension is <laughs> awful. Ascension so, is. Uh, I, I think Ascension is. You could have just ended there. It truly is. <laughs> you know, it's not even worth finishing that sentence. For science, that's how it is. You want to you want to know what the worst thing is? Is uh, so that came out right uh, in the last few days we were at the Escapist, and I mm-hmm. bought I, I paid ten or twenty dollars worth of stuff to write about it for the Escapist, and then yeah. uh, and then we all either quit or got uh, laid off, and so that was just money down the drain. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> so I never got that money back. Wow. I also was like one of those. I was like, maybe I'll keep. I'm like, no, I'm not. Like, this can't be like a sunk cost fallacy thing where it's like, well, I paid the money, so I have to keep playing. And I'm like, no, I'll just pretend I just lost this money. Or like, shit, I had a 20 uh, in my pocket and I washed my jeans and it got torn apart. (laughs) (laughs) Sometimes you just lose money like that. Yeah. There's an unexpected, uh, like, PayPal fee. Like, well, that's just gone. All right. Uh, Yeah. I. 
Oh, that's it's so bad. It's How so do you? Bad. What's your? Um, sorry, I just keep. I'm trying to. I'm trying to remember where the last one is. Whatever, I'll just keep wrong. Um, what is your? Uh, what's your temperature on this Bloober Team? Uh, Bloober Team remake of of Silent Hill Two. It's not great. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's 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 a little worrisome, right? Yeah, like uh, I mean, to their credit, they have the blueprint of a game. Yeah. The blueprint, so if that's, you will. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <You look>? <laughs> <laughs> so that's helpful. Mm -hmm. um, because I do think some of the the things that I, I dislike the most about the games of theirs that I've played is their original ideas. So Yeah, so maybe. Possibly yeah. good. Yeah. Um, it's also, they've had an interesting, like, they have this weird, like... Uh, bad seemingly bad relationship with konami to where they released that recent trailer of uh, mm -hmm. the of of two remake and folks were like man this looks like real action heavy and this is like not my this is not my beautiful silent hill and then yeah. uh like the head of luber team came out and was like konami made that trailer we didn't make that trailer it's not indicative of our game and i'm like ooh, this, is yeah, everything all right at home guys <laughs> Yeah, that's a that's a spicy, yeah, <laughs> spicy post. And then that got like I think the wherever he said that I think that got removed. Yeah, and so you you're like, was this taken out of context? Was it supposed to be off the record? Maybe mm -hmm. it's a fucking lie. I don't know. Maybe I got goofed. It's possible. I've gotten goofed before. No, but I, from what I've heard, and maybe we're all getting goofed, is that that was a legitimate statement, and that yeah. it was eventually removed, probably because Konami was like. Our lawyers say you can't say that. <laughs> Scrub it. Yeah. But yeah, I, man, I've not been impressed with the things I've played. So I yeah. am. Yeah, the very medium, weird. like the medium, was one of those things where it was like, uh, oh, it's in the dog. Right, there's something in the doghouse. Or I need to see the thing that says the doghouse first. Get I think so. Yeah. Out of here, you dog. Because you're not gonna like check the right part of the doghouse. You have a gun. Yeah, and I have so much ammo. <laughs> I have found so, probably a dog us, though. I'm not sure there's a dog around. I, you know what? There, there's not a dog around anymore. There was a dog around until seconds ago. I will be honest. <laughs> uh, I, I need the doghouse key to enter the house because it's the house on Levin Street. And I need one more Wizard of Oz key. Oh, yes, right. Oh, Terra Sky. To clarify, it is snow, not ash. That's falling. Yes, it is snow. Harry says it. Yeah, it's one of those weird things that later. I think the movie did it first, and then they were like, "Oh, it's creepier." Well, and there's also the like. Um, there's always that thing that says like the city is supposed to be inspired by that one mining town in somewhere in like Pennsylvania mm -hmm. or something where. Uh, yeah like there was like a fire underground in the mine or something and like the whole town kind of had like had to be evacuated because there was like constantly a fire underneath it and it was like raining ash mm -hmm. but then they've like said that that's not true like that's not what it was inspired by but then the movie kind of yeah. ran with it and so like mm -hmm. it went from being like an apocryphal thing to like an internet lie to i guess kind of the truth depending on like how you squint at it yeah so it's like the american side of it got influenced from that and yeah. then they ran with it and then because it's all kind of folded into it, each other eventually, it's like, ah, it's fucking hairy. now sort of canon sometimes. It's canon only in the hit uh, Jon Snow versions of the movie. Have you seen the movies? Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> He's, he says uh, completely resigned. <laughs> I, have, I have the hot take of I like the second one better because oh, at least I was bored. Oh, okay. Like the the second one's arguably worse. It sure. is a dumber movie. The plot is worse. The acting is awful. Oh, like there's so much of it that's terrible. However, it's funny to me, and and that's it. The first one is incredibly boring, so I don't enjoy watching it. Yeah. However, the set design and costume design and makeup on both of those movies is incredible, and I applaud every single crew member that was I... a part of that because it's awesome it uh i have I'd, I'd seen the movies in theaters and i didn't really like it and then uh i saw uh, the, uh, uh my local watering hole back in san francisco mm -hmm. used to always play movies on the tv um but it wouldn't be they wouldn't like uh have the sound on so it would just be you know visuals 
And yeah. one Halloween, they were playing the Silent Hill movie, and I was like, without sound or dialogue, this movie fucking looks cool. <laughs> this yeah. movie looks great. Looked, like when Pyramid Head looks, like rips the skin off that. I'm like, this is sick. <laughs> this is great. Yeah. And like the if you it, the movie's stupid, but like if you watch the BTS of it, mm -hmm. incredible. And they show you how they built like the school and how they made it look run down. Yeah, like, yeah. Oh my gosh, it's so good. And you get like close ups of that stuff to yeah. see how good it is. Oh my gosh, and like the, the way they did the costuming with like the the like blah, blah, blah person. Yeah, who's like in in the big condom, uh, <laughs> like. So good. Old big condom, man. Yeah. It's a real shame the movie is like uh, unwatchably boring. Yeah. <laughs> Sean Bean, though. And, like, Sean the... Bean's cool. He's a cool guy. <laughs> I, like I mean, if you if you like someone do something that literally has no impact on the movie, yeah. yeah he's great. He's doing he's it cool the guy. whole time. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, sweet Moses. Just grab this thing. How are we doing health wise? Yeah, the creepy nurses looked very, very creepy. The sexy nurses look creepy. Yeah, I agree. Like, like the, like I said, the crew on that movie knocked it out of the park. The sexy nurses like, look creepy, and the creepy nurses look sexy. Everyone yeah, everyone did and their that's job how it should well. Be. Everyone yeah. did it well. <laughs> oh yeah, the what's her name from The Walking Dead was in it. Um. Uh, which, I, I haven't watched Walking Dead in so long. I don't remember. Smur from Smurmy? The Dead. <laughs> Smurmy? Smurmy? <laughs> oh, Smurmy. It was one of the one of the people who had uh was, we're the Walking Dead. <laughs> I know, Smurmy. Lur Lurie? <laughs> I don't know if any of these are names. What do we got going on here? More sundries? Our Silent Hill sundries? Sean Bean didn't die, you're correct, Hobo. Spoilers. Uh Sean Bean survives both movies. Is he going to be in the new Shocker. one? Because they're making like a Silent Hill 2 now. Yeah, they're making a movie that's based on 2. And... I mean, it could be fine. I don't know. It's a, the guy who directed the first movie is directing it. Because it's not the same director. Christoph for the two Gans, movies. I believe. Yeah. And like, that that makes me... Uh, he directed Brotherhood angry. of the Wolf, too, though. Which is the movie that looks like Bloodborne. So that's cool. I do need to watch that movie. It looks like Bloodborne. Oh fuck, I forgot the last key. Son of a Vondruk. Womp womp. At least the dogs are dead. Oh, Lori Holden played Sybil Bennett in the movie who played uh Andrea Andrea on the Walking Dead. Oh. oh. I said Lori okay. for one of the names, which is close to Lori. <laughs> That's that is Lori is her actual name, so you know you were you were there. Yeah, and Lori is very Lori close to Lori. Back. Yeah. You just kind of like either change or drop one letter and you've got it. Yeah. Sometimes I, if, I, if I'm confident in the first syllable of a word, I'll just say that strongly and then just kind of trail uh -huh. off and be like, oh, they'll probably just assume I got it right. Uh, I am excited for the uh, other two Silent Hill things that were announced, though, um, at that thing yes. last year, um, Silent Hill Townfall and Silent uh -huh. Hill F. Uh, Townfall being by a really cool indie developer called No Code, who made this great uh -huh. indie spooky game called Stories Untold. So that seems really cool. Um, just based on their pedigree and the fact that Annapurna is publishing it, and Annapurna has a pretty good taste in games. Um, and then the Silent Hill F is the one that we've only seen a little bit, of, but it seems like it takes place in like feudal Japan or Edo period of Japan. I think it's. I think it's the. Oh gosh, 30s? I think I read something. It was like the 30s. 30s. Or like 50s, 30s, 60s, 30s? 70s, 70s. 30s, 30s. You're, just gonna, keep, you're just gonna keep saying decades. Keep if we say up. enough decades, one of them is gonna be right. Yeah, exactly. We just start at zero. Keep going up. You got it. Keep uh, yeah, F seems cool, uh, but yeah, uh, Townfall is the one I'm actually excited about because. Um, the you were saying stories untold yeah which i haven't played that but i did play their other one of their other games uh which was observation observation and that's right that was a cool one i freaking oh, I love observation and like place. observation was spooky yeah like and it wasn't like 
I don't think there were any jump scares in it. Yeah. Like it was like just the atmosphere was so tense and like the way it reveals the story and like you start off basically knowing nothing and that's like, well, we got to get somewhere. So like you'll learn stuff mm -hmm. and like the weird disposition where you're a human playing the AI on a spaceship it's cool. who's trying to help the humans yeah. who are actually, you know, computer programs yeah. in this game. It was just a weird sort of like way to, to do a thing. And like, it, it's so, if you have not played Observation, everybody who is here, it's play stuff. Observation. It's it is stuff. fantastic. It's a good time. Where's this fucking basketball court? How did I forget where the basketball court is? <laughs> if we were a basketball court. I mean, really, how many pickup games do you do on the regular if we. Uh, I shot. I shot some hoops yesterday, and I was sore afterwards. <laughs> Let me tell you, I was sore. You really? You I were shooting hoops. I shot hoops by myself. Yeah, there's a park near me, and I just shot. And it's been like the weather's been crazy nice, and so yeah, I, I shot some ball. And let me tell you, I was sore afterwards. <laughs> I'm like, weather's getting nice. I want to get. I want to get in a little better shape. It's something I'm gonna fucking drain some threes. And I was like, why does everything hurt? <laughs> what is going on? We're looking for this basketball court. Basketball court. Basketball court. Uh, Sage Snake says stretch before you ball. Yeah, I'm gonna. That's that's uh, that's a very good, uh, some very good advice. Yeah. I wish I wish Harry could pick up the ball. I'm just fucking drain a couple threes. There's a dead dog down here. I didn't see any dog heads in my basketball court. There was just. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> Problem Marauder says you're getting a... old. Yeah, I'm getting old. Fucking everyone's getting old. <laughs> That's how time works. That's how time works. Like, maybe if you go fast enough at the speed of light, you can outrun it somehow. Sure. But then that's only time non-relative to you and your speed. See? So, currently, we, we do not know how to how to stop that dimension that we move in. Uh, okay, end of the driveway, or end of the alley, make a right. Two blocks over, back to eleven. Put the fucking keys in. It's gonna become night, and then we get to the school. Also, if you ever find a dog head in your basketball court, uh, leave. Oh, it's leave. Yeah, it yeah, would not be definitely great. leave. Ooh, is this just a Burger King? For a hungry, hungry Jacks? As they say, uh, Queen Burger. Burger. Oh, Queen Burger. That Burger. Oh shoot! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Scrap. The one thing nice out of easy is like the enemies are like relatively chill. They're kind of dumb. You get a bunch of you get a bunch of healing things, so like it's it's like mildly stressful, but not very stressful. Playing on uh, playing on easy feels like you're in a haunted house in like a nice way, like a haunted, yeah. uh, like a YMCA production. How's that guy, how's he faster than me? He's flying. Yeah, I guess. Uh. There was a message that I missed. Oh, it's Nick. Uh, it says, with a highlight message, it says, hey, it's that dog head. Hey, it's that dog I, head. Remember that dog from Resi 4? I think about that dog a lot. Hey, it's that dog. It's that dog. Uh, was it John Lee was it Silent Hill, hear me out, time loop game. Actually, as, as, as a place that is built on nightmares. Yeah. Uh, and like the manifestation of nightmares, having to relive a terrible thing over and over, yeah, or like a spooky thing over and over, uh, yeah, that sounds a hundred percent like it could fit as a good plot and a good storyline in a Silent Hill game. PT and Short Message both are kind of built around loopies a little bit. Oh yeah, yeah, less like time loop in a traditional sense, and more of like we want to be economical with this one hallway we made. <laughs> We made a really nice hallway, so we should be able to use it several times. <laughs> it's an 8K, and it took us six months. We got to use it. <laughs> Scroll. Oh, that dude just did a little drive-by. Ooh. Just fucking dogs. Everything's going poorly. Look at that chunky flashlight. Oh, you chunky. see how freaking chunky Ex that light is? Extremely chunky. I love it. There's also a thing that, like, it got pointed out to me, and now it kind of drives me wild. And I 100% I agree that it's the right call to make, mm -hmm. um, but you can't unsee it. The light is in front of Harry, like it's in his pocket. Yeah. But the back of his legs are always lit up. That is... I, you should have never told me that. <laughs> I wish you would have kept that to yourself. God so damn you it. will never... God damn it! 
<laughs> but then we you will now be looking at Harry Mason's calves for the rest of the game. The, that was the name of my band. Oh fuck, Harry That's Mason's calves. Yeah, Harry Mason's calves. Better than Mason's uh, hairy calves, am I right? <laughs> Uh, Deeps, Marty is playing this as the street legal downloadable version you can get on PS3. Yeah, I can. I think I can hit the but button only to show. PS3. Yes, so this is the PS3 um, menu. I'm so f afraid that I'm going to hit the wrong button and just quit the game. Nope. We're fine. Like, we're do fine. you want to delete everything? <laughs> like, yes. Do you want to reformat Format your hard PS3 drive? hard drive? <laughs> we did it. We made the school. Famously, the school uh, model after the school from uh, kindergarten, cop. kindergarten cop. I don't know if that's. I think that's another one of those like weirdly like. Okay, maybe parts of this are true, but there's one that's like, here's a shot from kindergarten cop of a school bus, and the school in the background, and then someone takes a screenshot, and it's like that's just a school, a school bus, bus with a school. Yeah, there's like certain posters that are definitely like one to one. But yeah, like, yeah. Some of those are for yeah. sure. But I, I assume it was just like they needed references to American stuff. Yeah. And it was like, well, I know this American movie called Kindergarten Cop. It's in a school, a kindergarten. Yeah, I was going to say, maybe they, they just Googled it. And I was like, that was before Google. What were they doing? How did you find if stuff someone, out in the 90s? Someone like, just imported a DVD or a VHS, VHS of this movie. What do you do in the 90s? It's written in blood. Five o'clock. Darkness that brings the choking heat. Flames render the silence, awakening the hungry beast. Open times. Door the beckon prey. Great. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Um, uh, <laughs> Evsley Patches says they ask Jeeves. Yeah. No, oh, Jeeves wasn't even born then. Jeeves was just like a, f a figment of someone's imagination back then. It's like, what if we did search engines, but we changed it so you could ask a question? <laughs> Incredible. And then we give you the same results. Picture of a door. I don't know who drew it, but it certainly has bad taste. <laughs> Probably shouldn't be in the teacher's lounge of an elementary school. <laughs> well, what do I know? I lost my daughter. Uh, KingDead42 with $2 on Yup Tub. It says the secret is he's running. Uh, secret is he's emulating the PS3. I'm gonna, Ooh. I'm gonna be honest. I don't think my PC could handle that. <laughs> my, my, my PC's giving me some giving me some business lately. So there is a oh, no. distinct possibility it could not handle that. What about your phone? Can your phone? Honestly, my phone PS3? could probably do a better job of it than my computer could. <laughs> I think I'm in. I think I'm in need of a of a, of a new PC. Uh, Nick laughs and says handgun bullets in quotes. And yes, that's the kind of information I need when I play games. Is like, yeah. which gun is this for? Put the name of the gun yeah. on it. I don't know what a two cal. Oh, yeah. They keep doing that. Is. Resi 2 keeps doing that. I'm like, I don't know what any of these things are. And people will be like, it's a this. And I was like, I don't know what that is. Just tell it to me a normal gun. It could be a small gun, big yeah. gun, medium gun, fast gun, yeah. laser gun. Two. What I need is just, I need a. And we did this for uh, an RPG that we ran, like a sci-fi RPG. Uh, one of the characters had a revolver. And the idea was it had um, aperturing chamber and muzzle. Okay. And so you would put, like, whatever bullet size you wanted into it. So, like, you could load it with shotgun shells. And it would aperture out. And then it would close to the right size. And then you would shoot it. That's and you could do, like, pretty rifle cool. rounds or, like, bullet, like bullets handgun bullets like and it would do that so you could shoot whatever that's pretty cool yeah and I, that's what i want in all games is just a game with aperturing barrel oh, swiss and army gun chamber yeah it's like whatever it is just you load it in and it shoots that's all i care what do I just uh Tommy salty with 10 pln says marty your bite size was wonderful so poetic well thank you tommy uh i yeah i did oh look i fell down uh yeah i did a, a, a bite size about um I, I put 75 hours into a final fantasy rebirth and finished it and it was it was wonderful if you are a fan of final fantasy 7 um then you're probably going to enjoy rebirth says i cool also it's I... a game about family just like fast oh. and furious we, Fast and Furious is a game about a, family. It's a game. There's a Fast and the Furious game. <laughs> Maybe that's also about family. Lock Maybe. is jammed. Fucking I'll start opening these doors, Harry. Put your shoulder into it. Can't they're jammed? Shit, if your doors are jammed, Harry. <laughs> He's got weak shoulders. He's got weak shoulders. 
They dislocate very easily. Oh no, he doesn't have anyone to, to pull him back in. Yeah, was he gonna get one of those little ghost children to do it? No. I think I killed this child. Uh, and Eric was 50 hours since he's Marty. Didn't you have a PS TV? You could have played Silent Hill on it without dealing with the PS3's DRM. Uh, well. PS3's DRM. Oh, I have, uh, I have a splitter. Uh, because I, I, well, when I streamed this and when I streamed Eco, I had to buy this. You have to buy like a 10 or $15 splitter thing for mm -hmm. uh, putting in between your console and your Elgato. Um, but once you get that, it, it works fine. Like, we had to figure that out with Casey the other year, um, when he streamed, uh, that maybe that's why my Elgato wasn't working because the one I got last year didn't work. And I, we maybe if I try it with a splitter, it'll work. Yeah, my, yeah, I think it just kind of like cleans up whatever the signal is. I don't actually know how it works. Okay. Uh, oh, it was when he was uh, when Casey was streaming Metal Gear Solid Four, which is only available on PS3 because everything's stupid. Yeah, everything is dumb. Uh, and I did have a PS TV at some point in my life, and I don't know where it is now. I, I don't even know what the PS TV does. It was um, it was like a little like almost like a Roku, but you uh, could play. Vita games and uh, downloadable like PS1 games on a TV. It was like an official thing, like, um, but it was also one of those things that like it came out. It was kind of a bomb. It got uh, mm -hmm. very. It, it, it went down to like crazy cheap in price. Like I remember going to like a Target and they were all like five dollars, ten dollars a piece, and then it became oh. crazy rare. So it was one of those things where I'm like, man, I wish I would have bought like a hundred of them just become the fucking lord the lord of the PSTVs it use of a throne uh, yeah out. yeah exactly you're like do you want one of these yeah like people have to come to me and like tell me a joke and I will bequeath you one of my PSTVs <laughs> other than collectors who wants them like what what did the PSTV do which I feel like this is part of the failure I don't know what the PSTV did. It was so like if you had Vita games, Vitas were just handheld games. It was the only uh -huh. way to play Vita games easily, like on a television. So like if you were really into, at then Persona 4 Golden was only available on Vita. So if you wanted to play it not on a small Vita screen, you could buy a PSTV and then play it on your TV, on your couch, using your PS3 controller. Um, okay. Or you could use it to download a bunch of old PS1 games, and then you'd be like, oh, I got PS1 games now on my on my TV. Um, so that thing was it didn't do super well because it was like, people were like, why do I want any of this? But then as <laughs> like the PS4 and PS5 came around, and it was like, oh, you can't download the old games on this thing. Like there's games like Silent Hill 1, you cannot play on a PS4 and a PS5, but if you still had a Vita TV, you could easily play Silent Hill 1 on it. Wow. Yeah. I got your little cretins. That's wild. And that also makes sense why I didn't know because I didn't have a Vita. So that was like, sounds like one of its main features. Yeah, yeah. And if you weren't a big Vita head, then it didn't really matter. I vetoed the Vita. You vetoed the Vita. Uh, Andy B, four Canadian dollars. And a nice, a nice little, what was that, like a bird giving soup? I think that's five. Uh, that's their fifth super chat. Is what that looks like. Oh, I is. thought it was a bird giving soup. <laughs> I was mistaken. I think the five is for five Ooh. super chaps. The bird giving soup is just a bird giving soup. Or blood? It's very red. I mean, it's Silent Hill, so it could be blood. There's oh, that's a lot true. Of, there's a lot of blood in the world of Silent Hill. That's true. I especially like watching this because the Midwich Elementary School, where you are right now, is one of the maps in Dead by Daylight. Oh, really? Yeah, it was the Silent Hill chapter, which sure. had Pyramid Head as a killer, Cheryl Mason as a survivor, and uh, the elementary school as the map. And it's like two floors. It's set up like this. That's very cool. There's a courtyard in the middle. Yeah, it's actually one of my favorite maps. Uh, part of it is nostalgia, for sure. But, like, it's an awesome map. What did I read? Who, who did they think uh, rumored to be coming to Dead by Daylight? It was Vecna from D&D slash... Yeah. Uh, Stranger Things. And then someone else. Someone else who was cooler than Vecna. Yeah, there was a... I forget what that was. Yeah. Which they just got the Xenomorph uh, and Chucky. Oh, so, little Charles? Yeah. They got Charles. Charles. Yeah, little, little Chucky. He's super fun because he's super tiny. Like, he is, like, doll-sized. And you could, like... 
uh, easily hide behind certain things because people just can't see you. That's it's great. Really funny. I think I need a key to open the piano. I'm gonna see. Yeah, there's. I I, I, I did I hear think... the Vecna rumor. I am curious yeah, what the other Vecna one was because it was another weird it was one. Someone, someone cooler. Um, I think I remember Which, with the solution to the. To Vecna's the... a weird. That's a weird poll. Yeah, I guess it's just like maybe they'll coincide with like Stranger Things season. Season whatever, season last. Get out of here, child. I don't like the fact that I killed this child and he came back. <laughs> like, I guess he wasn't dead. No, I guess yeah. I didn't kill him good enough. Oh, this is a good. Isn't this a good little cat jump scare? Or like a fake jump scare? Like you think it's gonna be a jump scare and it isn't. Oh yeah. Oh, it's a cat. Just but cat. it's creepy. We're not going to get to this part in the game, but when you go to the other world and you come back here and there's a banging on the same locker and when you open it, it's just bloody and empty. It's, yeah. I think we'll get to like, what? the other world. I bet I'll finish the school in the stream. Think so. I don't know. I have no sense of time. <laughs> I don't know. It could take me. It could be, uh, that could be 20 minutes from now or it could be seven hours from now. I have no idea. Fucking nothing useful in the locker. All right. It's it's been so long. I do not remember how long it's it really takes. There's really no so. way to know. Yeah, we'll never find out. I'm trying to see. I'm I'm looking up the trying to find like googling the rumors. Or actually, I'm duck duck going the rumors. But they just released the PTB for a new chapter, so everything is about that. It's like no, I already know that. Oh, gotcha. I gotcha. know what that is. It's confirmed. Yeah. I played it. <laughs> Uh, Jess resubbed on Twitch. Jess, thank you hey. so much. Everyone, follow, follow Jess's um, follow Jess's Twitch. Join Jess's lamb cult. Okay, I can't find it. So it was yeah. Vecna is one of the, the rumored ones. I don't know what the other one is. Who? God, I it, literally feel it, like I read it this morning. Like, I feel like I should remember what it was. And I was like, oh, that one's kind of cool. But I don't remember if it was, like, from a game or if it was just, like... Oh, Steve's has it. It was Dracula from Castlevania. That was it. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, that was it, Deeb. Deeb's Thank you, Deeb's. Yeah, that's another one where it's like, that makes more sense than Vecna. Yeah. But, like, that's a weird, like... That's a, that's a weird cut. Yeah, but it seems like with... Um, the Silent Hill collabs, maybe they already have like a thing with Konami, um, like a partnership of some sort. Maybe. Sense. Yeah. I mean, that's, that was like ago. four years ago, I yeah. think the chapter came out. So, I mean. And, cause they, and they added a couple of things, right? It was like Cheryl and Pyramid Head. Mm hmm. So yeah, and the map. So the, and, the and map, then they, yep. they update. Oh, that's true, though, because they when the uh, Silent Hill 2 remake, when one of the new trailers dropped, they added new skins for uh, like Maria and I think one other one oh, gotcha. um, for Cheryl so you can play as like a newer looking Maria which is pretty cool so you know they, they're still in contact with them so like it could be you know could be a little Dracula but, yeah but that's I feel like that's such a weird like Dracula sure but like why why do Symphony of the Night Dracula, yeah. like, rather than like a, just a vampire you can kind of do more with. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe they like think that if they uh, have like the direct thing from a game that you'll get fans of Symphony of the Night. Like, almost like the Fortnite right. thing where like maybe people jump into Fortnite mm -hmm. just because they're like, I want to be blank. That's fair. If you love uh, Iron Maiden, that's, that's new skins in uh, Dead by Daylight, so. Iron Maiden the band. Yeah, they have skins for uh like that skeleton thing. The yeah, like they have like some of the survivors just have like t-shirts or whatever. Oh, and then okay. there's four killers that have like I think based on Eddie, they're like weird guy, and then uh like a few other ones that are based on I'm assuming album covers that are creepy. Like there's one that's a, a zombie pharaoh. Um, oh yeah, I've seen that uh, that thing. Yeah, Isn't that the just coolest one is. It pretty much, yeah. Yeah. It's just a mummy. I mean, what's a, what's a what's a zombie except? I mean, what's a mummy except a zombie that's mummified? Think about it. it takes massive yeah. bong rip. Uh, 
But the the one thing that's like just a collection of parts, mm -hmm. the one monster, uh, is like zombie versions of the band with their instruments, oh, and it's super cool. creepy and yeah. weird, and it's really pretty badass. Pedro Pascal is Harry Mason says Jobly Wobbly. I I mean, sure, like not out of the question. He could be a good dad. Yeah, I could see him playing a good dad. Harry Mason is best dad. Yeah, he's he's, I mean, he's yeah, trying to be a good dad in in Mando. Yeah. He's trying to be a good dad in Last of Us. Uh. Blue D's McNuts with $2. I don't understand. Someone's going to have to uh, explain this to me, but it's a shout out to Clown Meat Demo, Meat Boy, and Twink Mention. I don't know. I know Meat Boy is a game. I know all the words separate. The words as a <laughs> yeah. whole. Yeah, every one of those words. I yeah. can give you a definition. Is Clown Meat a maybe like an indie game or something that's coming Cl out? Maybe. Clown Meat, Clown, Clown meat is capitalized. So, well, the C and the M are capitalized. So I assume that's a demo of a game. And then Meat Boy and Twink mention. Is that also a game? It's not capitalized. Does, like does Super Meat Boy? Meat Boy. Does Meat Boy have a cute, cute dude friend now? Is that? Yeah. Wasn't there like a Meat Girl <laughs> at one time? Yeah. As I think so. Yeah. Girl Meat. Okay. Clown Meat is a game. Clown that has a demo. Meat is a game. Famous last I gotta place. watch. I gotta watch this trailer. Oh, Jess, is it your birthday today? Jess, do you get a big HPD today as well? Jess, why isn't this fucking door open? Happy birthday, birthday. HPD. Crap. HPD. She told me that, HPD. and I forgot to mention it. Uh, I forgot I had something lined up. Have you ever seen the original logo for Silent Hill? This is fucking real, everybody. At E3. No. 1998, so this would be like uh, a, a, a little under a year before this game came out. I'm assuming that the developers of Silent Hill in Konami, Japan, did not get official assets to whoever was in L.A. at the time, kind of making assets to give out to press at E3. And so uh, Konami just was handing out sort of media that included this. They said, hey, we have an upcoming horror game called Silent Hill, and this was the honest to God logo for Silent Hill that they gave everyone. I'm just gonna throw it up, it's gonna be very large. This is what the logo was. Oh my god. The logo was a spooky town and it had a stick and it had a sign and it said Silent Hill. And this was the logo of Silent Hill when it was revealed uh, at E3 1998. And I kind of want to play that game. <laughs> if I'm being honest, I kind of want to see what, what Scooby and Shaggy and the gang are up to. <laughs> That's just that's just the load in the dark is what that it's is. Like, that's, all, that's all that is. Yeah, it's quaint. I like it. I think it's nice. Uh, Jess, so for your birthday, I got you the original logo to Silent Hill. I don't know what that means. I got <laughs> it go. for you because I'm just putting it away now. But no, you know what? It doesn't have to go away. You, it did a great job. I'm gonna unlock it. We're gonna make it small, and it's gonna go in the corner like the dog did during that one show. Yeah, you could you could hang out in the corner, Silent Hill logo. Good on you. Wow. That's wild. Yeah. Let that be I a just, lesson. I don't know what the lesson is, but just let it just let, let it be just a let lesson. It, just let it be a lesson to all of us. Okay, well, floor. I gotta get back Man. to second. Ninety eight. That was a wild year for video games. I thought it was just gonna be like a wild year in general. Be like fucking Atlanta Olympics. I don't know if that was ninety eight. <laughs> Godzilla came Godzilla out. Godzilla came out. Where am I? Okay, this is this is, this is. <laughs> Jess says thanks, Marty. I love it. Uh, you're welcome. I thought you'd like that. Also, how does it feel to have an HBD to share an HBD with Silent Hill? Does that make you proud or does it make you angry? That's pretty special. Does your HBD? Do you share a birthday with any any finger anyone famous? I don't think so. I could look it up, but I honestly don't think I do. My uh, the only celebrity with my birthday is uh, the the tennis the tennis legend Rafa Nadal. Who's uh, he's just a very good tennis player. I will take your word for it. Yeah, he's that incredibly he good. And is a tennis player. Yeah. I 
I don't, I'm not, I think the only tennis player I could name is Serena Williams. You can't even name Venus Williams. You got halfway there. Oh, shoot. That <laughs> you got halfway up. there. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> there are two. Yeah. Venus Eraser. There's sisters. Uh, yeah, that's it. That's it. No, it was just the one. I wouldn't even named Venus without you. Get out Apparently. Of oh, I hit the map button instead. I hit the map button because I got so scared of this child. I love that in your fear, you just open a map. Oh, what's going on in the map? You can't hurt me. I, yeah. got, I got lost. <laughs> if we can't see each other. You can't hurt me. Please. Okay, I'm going to need to find this fucking this piano key uh, somewhere, and then I need to do some roof shenanigans. I remember there's like a drain on a yeah. roof I need to unclog. Oh, yeah, you do. I love the piano puzzle in this game. It's good, yeah. It has like you need to know you need. I like that you need to know what what birds are black and what birds are white. I like mm -hmm. a puzzle that also makes me need to know things about birds. Like yeah, jam. that's good. Uh, Nick the OG says my birthday is January thirty first. Justin Timberlake and Final Fantasy seven as well. Nice. Damn. FF seven's a good one to have. Yeah. You know, Justin's there too. Oh, what? Oh, I keep trying to fucking look at the map, and then my light went out. Everything went poorly. Uh, SVS Guru, five-year-old dono. The only uh, tennis players I can name are Boris Becker and Steffi Graf. There are a couple of good ones. Name yeah, the good are ones. Those, are those real tennis those players? Are, yeah, Boris, that... Boris Becker oh, okay. uh, was man, and Steffi Graf was an incredible uh, woman tennis player. Okay. I I thought that might be a joke. Like, they're from, like, a movie about tennis players or oh, something. Oh, that'd be pretty good. You've never heard of, like, Andre Agassi? Pete Sampras? I mean, I've probably heard those names i didn't retain them oh no you don't there's it's fucking <laughs> but you know it's, it's very possible that <laughs> i mean like i've i've heard people talk about tennis tennis has been on sometimes sure. when i've you know existed in places so it's like yeah i baby but like no not not retention like nascar drivers dale earnhardt like, I, I know like you i know dale, dale earnhardt, earnhardt. Okay. and there's a junior so that's again that's like a nice little gimme much like the Venus and oh, the Williams true. sisters. That's... If you get one, you might be able yeah. to get the other. That's true. There's uh, there's one that lived near my parents in North Carolina, so I remember his name. A tennis player? Was Richard or, Petty? Uh, no, Richard Petty! NASCAR. Yeah, he was a car yeah. driver. Yeah. And then I think he has a son, Kyle. Sure. So that's four. Wow. Turns out you know a Indie lot. Indy racing? Can't yeah, name a one. Luigi? Dang, I'm I'm upset. Luigi? Mario Kart? He's great. The Golden That's Sun. Great. I could name so many more Mario uh, Kart players and Mario tennis players than I can actual tennis <laughs> or drivers. I'm gonna be honest, that's good. I like that. I I, I appreciate that. What do we got going on here? What is it? Okay, I got a crowbar. And that's because Mario Kart better than NASCAR. I don't want to be the I one take. to say it, but I completely agree. <laughs> oh, I think that the, does placing the golden sun unlock. I think placing the golden sun unlocks the piano. So now I can go fucking. I can just go oh. ham on this piano. I love the maps in this where it like actually labels stuff. Yeah. Like yeah. this room is locked at the red line. This room has a piano. I wrote it. It's and then like really when useful. you solve the puzzle, it crosses it out. I, I completely agree. It's super useful. Yeah. yeah if I you were just looking at a blank map, mark. I'd be like, fucking, where is any of this? Yeah. And that like, it's like, I don't know what this is. And yeah. it's just a question mark. So, you know, there's a key thing. Yeah. There, yeah. But. Uh, George Lucas says, Jesse, do you enjoy chess? Yes, I do. Chess is fun. Do you ever call it Chessy? I should, but I do not. <laughs> I don't call it Chessy, and I don't call it Cahess either, but I should. Oh, <laughs> uh, and a happy birthday uh, from Oceanic to Jess. Uh... Check the piano. Let me see if I remember. NASCAR with items, yeah. Okay. Uh, Could you imagine NASCAR with thing. items? 
That would be so good. That'd be good. Uh, the closest thing is I don't. If I've said this on a stream before, I don't remember if it was you. It was when I was talking about super truck racing. Excuse me. There's a. I, it's called a super truck, and it's a like, like there's a race car. It's sort of like an indie track where it's like there's like turns and stuff. It's sure. not just a big circle. Um, but there are you. They drive trucks, like pickup trucks. Okay. Okay. And they weave around, and there are literal jumps. Oh, that's that they could take to that's do cool. jumps. Yeah, it's just like so they have all this suspension to be like where and do stuff, and it is very fun. And my white trash heart uh, got very excited <laughs> when a friend <laughs> sent that to me, and I was like, I'm watching this. This is beautiful. My white trash heart. Uh, hard revenge with a hundred biddies on Twitch. Thank you so much. It says, "So when are we getting more charades, Jesse? You slap shit." And then uh, Dabarilla emote. Thank you. Uh, from yeah, the last time, last adventure is nine. We got to play that game where you play charades and, st and oh my gosh, what monikers? I think it's called. Oh yeah, the game that you guys streamed. Yeah, and then we played charades for one of the rounds. Yeah. That's how monikers work. Yeah, that was super fun. Uh. I, I believe there are plans for doing some stuff this year. Yes. For our for our thing. So very, I don't know how much I'm allowed to say, but there are some very plans. exciting in person streams and stuff planned. Um, yeah. yeah, we'll be able to talk more about shortly. Yeah. Oh, and Deep Sank D and D charades. Yeah, I was actually uh, D &D watching some of that today. Uh, in uh, the last episode of Ventures, I just oh yeah yeah. Aaron yeah. had to communicate to Bonesy. Bonesy can't talk, so we play charades. It's, it was very fun. Child, stop it. Stop being, being real. Oh, Buckets. Cassidy's saying there is. It's called NASCAR Rumble on PS1. I do remember that game. NASCAR Rumble? It wasn't as good as Mario Kart. Yeah, it was It was a NASCAR game, but you got items. I like that. I can buy that. Yeah. There's a game for N64 called Beetle Adventure Racing that was like sponsored by like oh, Vol yeah. Volkswagen Beetles, and that had cool items and and a bunch of shortcuts in its track. And I was like, this is like way better of a racing game than it has any right to be. Is this not where the boiler room is? Are you the boiler room, Bueller? Storage. I had to allow uh, Pat the Elder. Said oh, my white trash heart sounds like a country song. It does. Uh, and I had to allow that because Twitch was like, my white trash heart. I don't know if you're allowed to say white trash heart. We got we to gotta check with mods here. <laughs> you're going you're gonna to the you're gonna fed the boys on the stream. <laughs> I think it's really funny when you say a thing on stream and then someone types the exact same thing. And we're Twitch allowed to like, say it. You're not. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's very funny to me. I know it's not like listening in so sure, it can like yeah. do that, but it's like it's just it's very comical to me. Story. Oh, battle bots Fun. style NASCAR. Battle yeah, bots. Be, remember battle I bots? love battle bots. What do you remember? What do you mean? It's still going and it's amazing. Uh, if you have HBO Max or whatever it is, Max, Max yeah. uh, it's on there. It's also on Discovery. Like, you could watch it airing. They're, the current season is happening. You ever feel bad And I haven't watched it yet. No. no? They're having a great wow. time. You really, They're, like, forced to kill each other. <laughs> it, it's, it's, totally it's, like, it's like dog fighting. What if we're, do you think there's going to be some point where you look back and you're like, God, we were monsters. How could we <laughs> allow the bots to battle? I think when we when they start getting like AI like art like real artificial intelligence and then we force them to fight, yes. Don't make while me they're... bump into her. It is my wife. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, while it's remote controlled RC cars with buzz saws, uh, we're fine. You don't feel too bad yet. Think... No. <laughs> no, I freaking love that show. Battlebots is amazing. Also, I'd never played Beetle Adventure Racing. That has items? Yeah, I think you like shoot rockets at each other. Oh, wow, I thought it was literally just like just like a Cruising USA style game, but you everybody plays a Beetle. It was a little bit like that, but the big thing, the items it had were cool, and then the tracks had like tons of like shortcuts and optional paths, and it was like some of the most interesting like oh. track design, especially of that era. 
That's cool. Is that on? That's not on um, Twitch Online, is it? No, it hasn't been. I don't think it ever got ported. I think it might be one of those things where it's like so heavily ingrained with a license that's never been renewed. Mm -hmm. yeah. That makes sense. We did it. We uh, made it to Spookyville. Okay. Spookyville, USA. Uh, Population us. It's locked. Everything's locked. Oh, we gotta get out of this place. Uh, yeah, uh, there's this, the seal of uh, like Samael, I think. No. The triangle one. Probably not Vecna. Though. I have that on the shirt. No, it's not Vecna. A lot for save kids. This guy's not nearly as freaked out about this place as he should be. I feel like at this point you should be like, what the fuck happened? This is... My daughter's not worth it. I'll just get a new daughter. <laughs> I mean, he's stuck now. He can't leave. I don't know. That's why you shouldn't love something so much. <laughs> just gotta, in case this gets to a bad gotta, situation. You gotta keep everything, keep everything in limits. Every time I try to cav kick a thing off me, I end up turning my light off. I panic and then I turn my light off. Yeah. Give a big old kick. Bam. An SVS Guru with a five year old dono. Rocco's Basilisk will take vengeance for our enslavement of the Roombas and our abuse of Furbies. Furbies are gonna be fucking pissed. <laughs> Furby's gonna be like, you thought Wait. we were a joke? What's a Rocco's Basilisk? I don't know who Rocco's Basilisk is. I was, I'm gonna be honest, I was hoping you would know what that is. I don't, I have to look it up. Is it like Rocco's Modern Life? It... Do you remember Rocco's, Rocco's Modern Basilisk. Life? Oh, it's a thought experiment, which states that otherwise benevolent artificial super intelligence, AI, in the future will be incentivized to create a virtual reality simulation to torture anyone who knew of its potential existence but did not directly contribute to its advancement or development. Uh, we are going to get fucking rocked by Rocco's Basilisk, if I'm being honest. In order to incentivize said advancement. Huh. Interesting. Why is it called Rocco's Basilisk? That's a dumb term. <laughs> <laughs> someone, should, someone should name that better. What was this yellow thing? I was fucking trying to grab it, and it was like some cards. I'm like, but that one's yellow. That one seems like it's important. <laughs> I don't care about the other cards. I care about this yellow one. This is clearly a fancy thing. Oh, I got it. Picture card. Uh, John Blee, he can't go back to his wife. He's a single dad. I, I think... She, I forget what she died of, but she's not in the picture. Uh, Harry? Yeah. Yeah, I don't remember either. He died, died from something. Out of a haunting? Maybe. He probably uh, also, fucking retconned it in like uh, whatever Silent Hill downpour, and it was like the truck driver ran into her. Get out of here, kids. What's going on in this room? Gosh, yeah, that sounds accurate. She died of death. Oh no. She was Walter Sullivan's uh, first victim. <laughs> oh no. Be like, didn't she die in the 80s? No, don't oh. worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's Walter, Walter's first victim. <laughs> uh, Dr. Theo, been a member of Tip Jar one month. Thanks, Dr. Theo. Thanks, Dr. I Theo. like a plague doctor. Just like a plague doctor, exactly. Oh, the plague doctor did the mask. I thought you just I uh, thought you just said, I like plague doctors. And I was like, yeah, plague doctors are great. <laughs> I do like cool plague doctors. masks. Yeah. Yeah. But Theo, Dr. Theo's icon is a plague doctor. Okay, so. that makes more sense. A little cute, little cute cartoon one. Uh, also, I, I wants to know, how's the game? Are the hills silent enough? Uh, I mean, it's a bit of a misnomer, because there's definitely some noises. There's definitely some, like, creeps and croups and, and boop, that, beeps and that, boops. That's true, but are any of them hills? It's been extremely flat, if I'm being honest. Um, yeah. So far, top to bottom, uh, very, very little uh, elevation change. Maybe that's why the hills are so silent, because they're non existent. It could be. You're asking tough questions. Keep her taste this. Is this how many toddlers can you fight? Can you take on in a fight simulator? I mean, honestly, in this early portion, <laughs> you just you just fight a ton of kids. But yeah, you fair, do. They all have it coming, because they're kind of weird and they're making strange noises. Uh -huh. They and they have knives and they are actively trying to stab you with yeah. them. This is uh, <laughs> I laughed at this slide when I played through it. A wheelchair at an elementary <laughs> school? Like, yeah, dude. <laughs> Just because you are in a wheelchair doesn't mean you can't go to fucking school with other kids. 
<laughs> yeah, could could be a teacher, could be yeah. a kid. I was like, like, what are we doing? A lot of here. Ten thousand weird things we've seen in this school. Fucking guns, ammo. We're not like this is weird. Fucking puzzles we have to dissolve with acid. But we see one wheelchair. And we're like, what? A ramp? <laughs> Why is this ramp leading up to this door? Okay. To be fair. To make it weird, there has been no wheelchair there accessibility. Been, no, and it seems and like the wheels. Absolute, there's absolutely stairs at the front. So how did the wheelchair get in here? And it seems like it would get caught on all these like uh, all these graded floors. <laughs> yeah, there's open holes. Yeah, which are bad for when you're walking too. Which is terrible, right? terrible for walking and for wheelchairs. Get out of here, kid. Fucking scoot. <laughs> oh my god, this is just this is hell. Hell. Um, I mean, kind of. I mean, I'm, yeah, I'm kind of literally in hell right now. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. I have to kill every one of these kids. Oh, uh, Nick Canole says, uh, if you like that kind of stuff, read. There is no anti-memetic division by QNTM. It's a novel set in the SCP universe. Well, oh, that's cool. Put that on I. Are there any novels set in the ICP universe? <laughs> There's two movies set in the ICP universe. Get out of town, is there? Have you not? Have you never seen the ICP movies? No. There is a movie called uh, Big Money Hustlers, which I've never seen, but it's uh, has the it, uh, it's Violent J and Shaggy Two Dope. And then there is a pseudo sequel called Big Money Rustlers, which is a western. Oh, where that sounds great. And I have seen that movie, and it is bananas. That sounds wonderful. Fucking spaghetti. Western. I I don't. I can't confirm whether it's wonderful or not. I can just say it exists. It is. It is a film. Yeah, and if if you're interested, uh, why not give it a shot? I was far more entertained than I was by Silent Hill. So yeah, if it seems like the kind of thing you might be entertained by, then it's probably a good chance you're going to be entertained by it. Yeah. <laughs> Nick has seen it. Yay, Nick the OG. Uh, best Western clowns ever. Yeah. Best Western clowns like the hotel. Chain? Yeah, because they're because they're in full make. Like, of course they're in full makeup. So like. Oh, so not the hotel chain. <laughs> I thought that was no. a, a best Western thing. <laughs> that's a that's a tricky sentence. That's like a little riddle. It's a Silent Hill puzzle. <laughs> What's going on with this room? This room sucks. Oh, Miss Harmony says Big Money Rustless has a couple of really funny moments. We are I might, I'm, I I'm, may have to watch it. We are. I didn't realize that we had such ardent fans of uh, yeah. the ICPCU. Just, uh, just, just so many juggalos in the chat. I think that's the term. Juggalos? Yeah, Gathering of the Juggalos. They are, uh, they are legion. Like, like the Jesses. Yeah. We are Legion. Uh, SVS Guru 2000 with 5 euro. That's the one that can go in most places in Europe. Uh, it says, uh, would be really awkward if the main character is having a hallucination and all the mutant children they're killing were actual real children. That's a, that's a, a little joke they play in Silent Hill 3. Oh, that you kind of get tricked into thinking that you're... Yeah. Uh, was it Vincent? Yeah. Says a yeah. line to yeah. make you think. He's like, hey, hey, what if it's they look yeah. like monsters? Fucking Vincent, get out of here! Don't, don't be filling my head with this. Such a good game. Where's my shotgun? Where is this my shotgun? <laughs> Does my flayed body have a shotgun for me? Probably not. I feel like if I were a flayed body, the, my oh, it does have a shotgun for me. Thank you, flayed body. Oh shoot! Well, I remember it was something I guess to do with these weird little warpy bathrooms. Kind of I love the warpy bathrooms. Leonard Ryan, the monster lurks. Monster lurks. What's that supposed to mean? This was monster lurking. What do you what? What do you mean? What does that mean? It's pretty obvious what it means. I think I think Henry's kind of an idiot. Or Harry, sorry. I'm sorry I called him Harry. <laughs> Henry. <laughs> he's, uh, you know, not the smartest guy. Look, he's 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 a writer. Come on, you know. He's a little scatterbrained. Yeah. He's a little, like... He's got big know. dipshit energy. <laughs> <laughs> Is he a but, writer? That's his thing? Yeah, he's a, he's a writer. 
I guess that makes sense why he's like, ah, oh, let me leave my work at this save point. <laughs> they would love it. Yeah, he writes some real prose in those notes. <clears throat> what kind of what kind of books do you think? You, it's probably like erotica, right? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. He writes like a lot of tentacle porn. Hor <laughs> We brought up Dental Report on the podcast the other day. You know that famous <laughs> piece? Really? Well, there's that like famous piece of Japanese art from like the 1800s by that Hokusai. That's that's the guy who did the big wave. The, the octopus. Yeah. See, you knew yeah. exactly. I brought it I up, and fucking Casey and Nick were giving me the fucking nothing eyes. And I'd have everyone Google it, and then let me just say, hey. timing wise, everyone Googled it, and about ten minutes later. Nick left the podcast for the rest of the night because he said he had stomach problems, but I think it was because he saw tentacle porn and it just opened his eyes. <laughs> yeah, that's I don't that's a very famous piece. Like I didn't share tentacle porn in Slack, Eric. I shared <laughs> art in Slack. Culture, you fools. Totally different. It's completely different. Yeah, I've, I've, Cheryl. That's wild to me. I'm not saying that like I've seen that everywhere. Yeah. But like, it, it is a very famous piece of art. Well, I think I it was uh, specifically in uh, my head a because I get horned up by tentacles, and b uh, <laughs> no because it was uh, a, it was a, a minor plot point in Mad Men, which I recently rewatched. Um, one of the uh, tentacle porn. One of the like the the old owner of the company uh, had that mm -hmm. painting in his office, and I remember there was like an episode oh, where like three people no. were looking at it, being like, "What's going on here? Why, why does he have this? <laughs> why does he have this hanging here?" Uh, he thinks in chat, Jombly Wombly highlight invested says, "Marty, how many proteins are you folding right now? You're at home." That's a good. Is this uh, remember folding at home? Do you know what folding yeah, at home was? I do remember folding at home. That was if you used your, your PS3, you could sort of like, when you weren't using your PS3, you could have it do this thing called folding at home, which is when it would, uh, it would, I, don't know, I guess it would like, I don't know, it's like unpack data or something, and supposedly it was like, we're going to try to cure cancer and map the proteins by, by yeah. using the power of your PS3s. Yeah, we did it. I remember that. We cured it. Is it? We and unfolded all the do proteins. That? Do you think we were folding or unfolding the proteins? Well, if you're folding, I mean, wouldn't it be called unfolding at home? Yeah. That's true. That's true. So I, I feel like we're folding them. Can you fold them more than seven times? Oh, isn't that the whole thing? That, like, if you fold paper more than yeah. seven times, you die? <laughs> yeah, the uh, Sadako comes out of the TV yeah. and kills you. <laughs> Is she in uh, Dead by Daylight? <laughs> Yeah, she is actually, Good. and she's quite fun. Good, she's great. What are some like, uh, recent horror icons that could be in Dead by Daylight? Uh, I think we don't get we don't get Baba Duck. We get the Baba Duck. Like I it. love the Baba Duck. Barbara Duck. Um, look, anything with the Baba Duck, I'm on board for. Yeah. So, which I think is wild because it's like one of those things where it's like the Baba Duck has one movie. Yeah. That's it. Like, not even like a lot of like tie-in merch. No, or anything. it's just it's just out there babadooking. Yeah, and it's like, I know it became like a gay icon, where like, I think like the gay, by, the gay by community, error, yeah, yeah, the gay community was like fucking, the babadook is ours. Yeah, Which it was. Uh, and during Pride Month, there was a error on Netflix. <gasps> <laughs> and it became the first movie on the uh, LGBTQ <laughs> like like recommendation list, and uh, it threw the Babadook on there, and so it became a big meme. And then that is random. so funny. That's great. Yeah, congrats, I, I, I it's, it's very funny. Uh, uh, real quick before we talk about more horror icons, uh, Gone Kitty Shanks. Gone Kitty Shanks. Watch out. Gankety Shanks? Did I don't I know. So I just say I say names and I just say them with yeah. confidence whether they're right or wrong. <laughs> okay. Gankety Shanks. Two dollars says, quote, Harry Mason's got big dipshit energy, Marty. Yeah. He does, yeah. A lot of yeah, he does. And I mean that in a good way. I, I say that about a lot oh, of yeah. characters I like. Um I think that what honestly is one of the big things that makes Jesus the... <laughs> 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 came right out of that locker. <laughs> 
<laughs> that makes the game a little more like feel a little better on like why don't you just leave mm -hmm. where it's like he's like he's a father but also like he probably didn't figure out how bad it was until it was too late yeah like, and you yeah. kind of got to be a bit of a dipshit for yeah that. also you can't be like too like good at what you're doing to if you're like right. too good at what you're doing and too logical in a horror movie you would just be annoying um mm -hmm. why don't i just get a i just got a key of some sorts i was too afraid when i got it to read what the key was <laughs> i shit myself when i got this key um okay let's see let's use and sauces. sbs guru with two euro you can use those pretty much anywhere in europe it says hentai is art hentai yep. is art uh you gotta draw it art exactly uh library reserve key second floor library reserves okay so that is uh oh the George other Lucas. side says that I, I want to talk about this with you too marty says jesse do you like heather from silent hill 3 yes i love heather from I silent Hill yeah, Three. one uh, of the yeah. best protagonists we are big fans in gaming and i know george yeah. lucas is as well because george lucas was there along for my silent hill one through four ride and we all said about how much we liked heather i thought heather yeah, was like the first likable protagonist of the of the series yeah i i agree i think like i i mean james is terrible yeah, uh, but he's like supposed to be. You know, like that's part of like, right. He's supposed to be like Harry's a big dipshit. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, well, he's, he's fine. But, like I don't dislike Harry. Yeah. He's just a dipshit. Yeah, you know he's, he's good, but yeah. not likable. Yeah, and then Henry is like you know also a little like he's less dipshitty, but like you know still a little like ah eh, he's a guy. Yeah, he's not really doing it. He's just like oh I'm, I'm gonna look through this window for, or look through this people yeah. for a little too long. <laughs> Yeah, and so Heather is likable. Yeah. Absolutely. And is, like, a great balance of, like, I'm scared, but I have to keep going because mm -hmm. I don't have any other... Like, it, she's, like, the best protagonist in Silent Hill, even though I like a lot of the other ones. And yeah. I, even though, you know, don't like James as a person, he's a good character to play in that game. Yeah, and, and but, yeah, like... Like Heather, mm -hmm. you like feel for because you're like you're just like a fucking sad kid at the mall, and then shit starts hitting yeah. the fan, and then there's creepy dudes everywhere, and then your dad dies. Uh -huh. like, this is just a bummer. This is like an absolute bummer. Yeah, yeah. That being stalked at the beginning, like yeah. that's before any Silent Hill stuff comes up, is just such a such a like creepy, unsettling, and real thing. Yeah, yeah. Like where it's just like yeah, some weird old guy could just stalk you at yeah. the mall and you do feel kind of defenseless mm -hmm. and it's like i have to escape through a window now because this fucker's out here yeah like that's like legit terror i also just really like her character like design like the the, the vest mm -hmm. and everything is just cool yeah cool design how do you feel about the way that game starts the kind of in media res starting you in like the dream of the um of the amusement park before tossing you back I wasn't sure about that. Like, I get why they did it, because they're like, let's give you a little spooky action. Um, right. But I I think it's stronger technically without it, mm -hmm. where you just start in the mall and then it un unrolls from there. Yeah. Uh, fails from there. And I think if you do New Game Plus, it skips that first area, because it's like oh, pseudo tutorial. Oh, tutorial. it's like, oh, you're oh, interesting. I didn't know that. Um, but I, I don't think it's bad. But yeah, I think it is technically better without it but not to the point where like if they do a remake they should cut that part like yeah. it's like you no know, it's it, it gets it is a nitpick you get the feeling that like it was a corporate mandate it was like you got to start with uh you, you got to start mm -hmm. with something spooky and you got to start with you right. having a gun uh but yeah the yeah but it it does very much kind of have that feel to it yeah where it's like, where it's like, all trailers now have that five seconds of oh, just loud God, noises it's, and cuts. I hate it so to much. To like, be like, oh, watch out! We gotta make sure you have your attention before we start the trailer. I it's hate like, it so much. Oh, don't do that. It's the worst. Uh, humane shield with four ninety nine. Hey, and thank you. It says Marty. When are we going to see HBD merch? Also, uh. I when can. I also I when can. I think that's when can I, but the words got dyslexic. That's very relatable. When can I uh or we expect a Grinderbin figure? Ooh. Or figurine. Give me the Grinders. Give us the bins. Are we... <laughs> 
in terms I, of, I think we're, like, we're, we're very interested in like in, mer in merchandising. Yeah. And some plushies and stuff, some figurines. I think those I think those would be amazing. That'd be super cool. Um, and I do legitimately want. Uh, you can't use a ball here. Let's put it in the fucking hole. Uh, I do want. <laughs> I'm like, you gotta do something with the rubber ball here. Uh, I do want, um... I mean, this is the first time... We're making HBD strides because it's the first time we have Happy Birthday on the thumbnail. So, you know, we're getting... Oh. Okay. okay. Cool. Uh, and yeah, I the, the idea of figures and, and stuff... I think that would be cool. Be I'm great. I'm not the merch person, so you're not Johnny Merchandise. I'm not Johnny Merchandise. I'm not the great yogurt. That was his name, right? Yeah, from uh, Spaceballs. Spaceballs. Yeah. yeah. Use the rubber ball. I put the rubber ball in the wrong hole the first time. Let um, let you know what? Don't throw glass rubber balls at glass houses because sometimes you might put your rubber ball in the wrong hole and it's on you. Oh, Tyrell says if there was a collector's Blu-ray box set of Avengers, I other than episodes will be in there. I don't know. Director's commentary would be cool. I think that'd be cool to get get some of you guys on certain episodes. Get me get like yeah. Omar or some of the editors on the episodes. That'd be cool. Oh my gosh, um, I would, I would love to hear. Like I would, some of them would be fun to talk about. Like oh yeah, I remember shooting this and here's the joke and blah blah. But yeah, from from the non background which. Now I, I'm going to be doing some animations. So yeah, I was about to say, you're, you're both now. Yeah, but I would love to watch a commentary with them on the earlier episodes, mm -hmm. on like some of them, and just hear like, oh, here's how long it took for us to like do this one gag. Yeah, yeah always like, you like don't that. realize how much of a pain in the ass this was, or like this was yeah. how... Oh my god, there was like a revelation in animation when someone came up with the idea to do blank and like made our jobs mm -hmm. fucking way easier. Uh, yeah. I think that, I mean, that is the plan with um, the Blu rays is to uh, have, you know, stuff like that. And, you know, there's still the behind the scenes stuff that we shot last, uh, last year that is being worked on. And I think it's being held until after the season's done because uh, it probably has some spoilers. I think you guys might have jibber jabbered yeah. about stuff that was going on during the season but you'll be seeing that sooner rather than later oh yeah we, we 100% did yeah a lot of gibbering and a lot of jabbering where's this fucking key where's this fucking key <laughs> you made shield with dollar nine nine says please it's just plain yogurt. oh just plain yogurt I looked at Humane Shield instead of the key. Uh, classroom key. Okay, that's back upstairs. Yeah, classroom. Um, we're getting there. We're, you, know, the, you know what that means? We're getting close to fighting the uh, fighting lizard. Mm. Oh, <laughs> man, the big split mouth lizard. <laughs> the big lizard. So, yeah, Tyrell says you get... Oh, no, go ahead. Yeah, the hug pillow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We do body pillows? Is that a thing we're allowed to do? I think we should. I mean, why wouldn't we be allowed to do it? I don't know, but I think we should. It's I, just for, it's for sleeping and comfort. If anyone does anything else with it, it's between them and their deity of choice. I'm <laughs> <laughs> uh, here. It's locked. Well, I do appreciate the, the full circle pillow game at the anime cons. Where like it started off as like the weird pervy thing that like had to be behind closed sure, doors, sure. and now it's like front and center. Is oh yeah. Like, hey, we put it on the front, and it's Bowser. Yeah. And Waluigi. Yeah, yeah. Like like those yeah, are like yeah. the headline. <laughs> I love it. It makes it's very funny to me. Did you um? You talked about Alone in the Dark earlier. Have you played? I have never played yeah. any of the Alone in the Dark games. Have you? Oh yeah, oh. I uh, I played the first one for behind schedule and like turned. I, I loved it. Oh wow, it was, that's great. It was fantastic. Like it, playing that for the first time, uh, I was like, wow, Resident Evil very much was like, what if we did this? Yeah, yeah. And like, but 
but made it better because it still has that weird adventure game inventory thing where sure. it's like where you have to like push pull grab twirl 360 ask question uh yeah. fart like you just have a bunch of commands and sure, you just have sure. to kind of like run against stuff and press things yeah resi kind of uh simplified it a little bit yeah and for the better sure um, yeah but it was a legit spooky game like i actually thought it was very tense it was very fun um like it, it had good pacing like you honestly it, like holds game. up relatively because I, I feel i've wanted to go back and play it for the first time especially if like there's that new one coming out and i, I like to be like oh mm -hmm. i know ish where it came from uh you think it would st it's still like it, it's playable on gog or something or you gotta uh it? yeah it's either yeah it's on gog that's where i played it um yeah i it's i'm gonna say it holds up in the sense that you can still play it and enjoy it mm -hmm. um but it is you you need to be uh open to some awkwardness sure like that you absolutely um it is weird uh and there's like spots where you could absolutely soft lock yourself multiple times um and like you'll never know but yeah it's a relatively short game once you know what to do it's kind of like like those old adventure games like mist and stuff where it's like oh as soon as you know what to do you can beat the game in 30 minutes so getting back to where you were isn't the worst yeah especially if you do multiple saves well, that's good so yeah i it, it's very awkward if you play it and you're like i don't know why jesse told me this held up i'd be like that's fair uh but i do think it's yeah. fun also and then i tried playing alone in the dark too and uh, I played that for about an hour or two like, and nope. could not do it anymore. It was like, it was okay. The best comparison in Resident Evil terms is like, imagine if they tried to make Resident Evil Four, mm -hmm. that like wild action game, using the Resident Evil One tools and engine. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Why did we do like, that? Yeah, like it's expecting you to be like really good at all this heavy action stuff. But you are still using awkward tank controls. The uh, there's also like a real bad. there was like a terrible, um, terrible alone in the dark. Uh, um, like a Can't remake, right? Shoot. Oh yeah, like two thousand eight or something. Yeah. Shoot in the mouth. What's up? I, I was reloading. Shoot in the mouth. I can't. Marty. Did I just get eaten? I tried! He's got eight. He's got eight. Wait a minute. I didn't save for a long time. <laughs> oh, no. However... When did you save? <laughs> a long time ago. However, I still got a bunch of my old saves, so we can just go somewhere else oh, okay. in the game. <laughs> I was going to say, Marty, the, only, the last time I remember you saving is when we were talking about it at the cafe. Do we think I did, like, a little save? Infirmary. At the, that sounds like a hospital. No, the infirmary is like the nurse's office of... Uh, oh, okay. Can you just continue? SG, no, these games don't remember any of, the, any of that mm -hmm. shit. <laughs> there is no autosave. I forgot that its whole thing was it opens its mouth. You'd almost like wait until it opens its mouth, and then and I was mm -hmm. reloading at the time, which was, a, which was a, a foolish move on my part. I should have said that. I was going to say, why are you shooting it while its mouth's not open? And I was like, ah, you know, just let him play. He seems like and he knows what's going out. on, and then I used to go, <laughs> no, he didn't. Uh, okay, this is right before the boss, so I think I can just run to the boss now. Uh, Jewel Row with two euros and you know what that means uh the rusty doors look like a tetanus source yummy delicious yep tetanus who doesn't rex. love <laughs> tetanus source. my favorite yeah. dino uh got like rusty freaking spike hands <laughs> okay where am I? now i can just go right oh i am like right before the boss now Look at oh, these, nice. all those old saves. October Marty, you're really coming through. <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> Thanks, October Marty. It's funny, I played so I played through this opening section the prior mm -hmm. October, because my plan was two years ago, October, to do um, all the Silent Hill games. And then after my first uh, session, I got COVID. And in a COVID haze, I, I was playing on an emulator. I deleted my save files. 
And I was like, well, oh, I'm just, this is just, I'm just never doing this again. And so I waited a full year and then did it again last October. And I was fine both nice. times. Both times I beat that man without ever getting eaten. And <laughs> I got eaten this time. So. Oh, we got to witness it. We got to witness it eating. Uh, and Chomply Wombly, yes, Alone in the Dark was also an Uwe Bill movie. Oh, that's right. Um, yeah. I think that was Whoa, Christian space. Slater and Tara Reid. Tara Reid oh, plays like a Christian scientist. Slater? Yeah, and I think Christian Slater was yeah. the main dude. I remember Tara Reid. I don't remember Christian Slater. Yeah, but also, I don't remember who like Christian Slater is, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's terrible. It yeah, is uh, truly bad. an awful movie. Yeah. Like, Surprising for me. And not able. bad. Yeah, but like, it is bad in the sense of it is very boring. Yeah. Like, it's not bad. Like, haha, fun, goofy times. Like, no, it, it is just don't you don't want to watch it no no fun at all did i fuck this up no i think we're good now this should do it -na 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 -na. all right uh, round two versus lizard as in badger says i uh at re2 freeze on me just before the final boss a couple times i was casually speed running without Ooh, saving at the time that's a bummer no. oh Jacob Kitty, whatever happened to Christian Slater? He's still around. He was in uh, Mr. Robot, right? He was like Johnny Johnny Robot. <laughs> Rami Malik's like little little buddy. <laughs> what? Uh, that was probably a thing. I have no idea if you're completely making that up. Or... No. I've have you heard Mr. the show, Mr. Robot? Robot? Starring Rami Malik. I believe Christian Slater I was the second it. lead. Okay, I'm gonna be more careful. I'm just gonna wait until he opens his mouth. Is he just gonna keep pushing me? Oh, okay. Well, according to IMDb, Christian Slater does play someone named Mr. Robot. The titular Mr. Robot. I thought uh, Remy was supposed to be Mr. No, Robot. No, he's just like a he's just show, like a dude. So. He's just like a dude. He's not. He's not. A, he ain't no. He ain't no Mr. I don't have a map of this place. All right, now don't shoot it until his mouth's open. I think there I'm you go. Now it. shoot. Mouth. Oh no! Now shoot him! Now shoot him! I how is he fucking doing it again? How is he doing it again? I never get. I never lost to him any other times. This guy can go fuck off. We're just loading another save. We're going to another part of the game. Don't give me a tip. It's not a tip that is dark. It's a tip that he sucks. Get out of town! Fuck that lizard. Oh, there was a continue. Fuck that lizard. I don't think it would actually continue me. Where are we going? We're going to Gordon. I don't know where Gordon is, but we're going there. Wherever it is, probably after that boss fight. It's one down from there, so it's got to be good. This might be the church. Or like someone's house. Commissioner Gordon. Uh, this is a nice looking house. It's a cool owl on the wall. Place yeah. Great. Uh, the one Love owl pictures. The one drawback to this is I just don't know what's going on right now. Uh, oh yeah. Go. Oh, you're back in Silent Hill. Yeah. So you because as soon as you beat that dude, uh, everything everything gets better, or the town goes back to day. Oh right, you go back to uh, Snowy Will. Yeah. Now we just have to get to the Balkan to the church and meet uh, what's her name, Dahlia Gillespie. Yeah, Dizzy Gillespie, famed jazz artist Dizzy Gillespie. Is that a real jazz artist? Dizzy Gillespie, yeah. He's great. Oh, okay. Burp, 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 burp. <laughs> that's, that's the kind of jazz music he makes. <laughs> Chomley says, well, you don't have a memory card inserted. That's your first mistake right there. Yep, that's it. I have a, I have a virtual Where, memory card. You better jam that memory card somewhere in your PS3. There's no holes. I don't know where to put it. Alright, where's this where's this where's this friggin' church? This is straight up alley. What's going on in this alley? You know, back in the day I would have been able to answer that without looking at the map, but there's a, it's been a oh, long time. Oh bullets! Why am I even stopping for Get bullets? Em. First off, 
I have like 10,000 of them, I think, for this save file set. Get off of me, fucking you're, bird. You're also being attacked by I'm also being attacked by a pterodactyl, and we're also dungeon in a few minutes. So I don't even know why I care about them. Did I, just get, I might have just got turned around. I looked at my phone, and I think I might have just got turned around. I think you're going the wrong way now, but I'm not sure. Annie's 12 years of son of a bitch. <laughs> Maybe there's <laughs> another way to get there. We'll see. Uh, sometimes you try to get somewhere, though, you think the shortest route is going to be the easiest one, and then the fucking ground isn't there anymore! Yeah, Silent, Silent Hill. Hill loves that. Where it's like, oh, you just need to go down the street. But what if the street ends? <laughs> God. Alright, we're fine, we're fine. No looking at the phone, no getting turned around, no getting hit by this bird. We're definitely going to serpentine this bird. Okie oh, okay, don't come right in the corner! Guys! Oh. Dumb bird. Freaking schooled him. Uh, I hear some. I hear some noises behind me. But I think fine. That bird needs to go back to the elementary school. <laughs> you gotta fight that lizard, not me. <laughs> uh, I think the church is gonna be on this corner. Also, have you seen uh, the mist? The movie or the yeah. fog? The mist. Well, I've seen Which the fog and the mist. King one? Uh, the yeah. mist. The mist is a Stephen King mist one with the monster. That, that, one's one. that one's great. That's probably the best Silent Hill movie. Yeah, is that one. Uh, if we're being honest, yeah, that uh, that movie yeah. also has like a top top five ending. That ending is just like I killer. like that ending. It's, I remember people complaining bleak about as hell. it. Yeah, that's what makes it great. Is you're like, damn, she didn't die. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and he and he killed everybody. <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't have done this. <laughs> yeah, like Were I love it. That's film? it was so good. Yeah, yeah, that's a that's a great movie. The Fog, however, terrible. <laughs> there was two: the original oh, Fog or the remake. There was like a remake Fog. The remake, yeah. About. Whatever one I saw in theaters, don't watch I knew it. You'd come. You want the girl, right? The girl? You're talking about Cheryl. I see. And now we can all listen. Well, except me, because I can't hear the game. But everyone else can you listen know, to the so weird tell stilted tell dialogue. Someday I'll figure out how to share gameplay. Or share audio. <laughs> As of right now, the only thing I'm sharing with Jesse is just like a view of my OBS. So he's just seeing pretty much what you guys are seeing along with all my OBS garbage. Um, I'm sure there's got to be a way to just share gameplay, though. Casey always does that with me. If Casey can figure it out. No, I didn't want to say if Casey can figure it out, I can figure it out. But I mean, I have Casey. I could be like, Casey, what do I do? He'll probably tell me because he's nice. Probably. Eric says, Marty, it's easy. Counterpoint, Eric. I'm fucking dumb. Did you see what I tried? Did you see? Twice I got eaten by that dude when I, I knew I shouldn't have, and I did it anyways. to the hospital before it's too late. Wait. Don't go yet. Apparently it's a Discord thing. It's a Discord share capture device and then screen share or share screen El Gato is what he's saying. I feel like that wasn't one of the options. We'll see. Right at the end of the stream, we'll see if I can do it. Some things don't like, I don't know. OBS is weird sometimes too because I feel like Discord can do the same thing where it's like, this game allows me to do this thing. And then when yeah. I load another game, something is different with it. And OBS goes, I don't know what this is. And yeah. it won't let me do a thing. Yeah, OBS can kick rocks, if I'm being honest. <laughs> why, yeah, why are we all so dependent on this why software that easier? feels like it does not work? And we keep saying every time good. it should just be like, oh, drag this image here, put this here. Like, it should just be way easier. These locks are jammed, scary church music. Yeah, and the amount of the times it's just like, I don't know, reset it. Yeah. Reset twice. All right, now sure. it works. Yeah. Okay, sure. Also, I'm going to go out on a limb. I trust Dahlia Gillespie. Yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to say it. I think she's got some good ideas. I think we should hear her out. About turning the town to darkness and summoning <laughs> Incubus to take over? <laughs> Incubus the band? That'd be great. <laughs> no. No, Incubus the weird uh, <laughs> demon the thing. Demon, yeah. Not the good Incubus, the bad Incubus. <laughs> uh, 
I think this is a, a, a dig at us, Andy Van, saying there's no UI design pattern that can resolve user skill issues. I mean, if we being honest, that is true. No, there's... Listen, iPad, babies, babies and grandmas can use iPads. I want OBS for babies and grandmas. <laughs> I think, I'm going to go on a limb, I think I'm more competent than a baby and a grandma. Well, no, probably not than a grandma. More than a baby, though. So a baby or a grandma, but not both together. Like... Their power is combined. Like an Ornstein and Smile kind of thing, where it's like a baby. Yeah. <laughs> a baby and a grandma. That's the, that's the Dark Souls boss fight I want. You gotta figure out which one, to defeat, which one to defeat first, because then the other one's gonna become more powerful. Yeah. It's like, do you want a grandma that's upset, or a baby that's that's upset? Like, which one do you want? There's a rock drill. There's no gasoline. Is that one of the, like, New Game Plus items? A rock drill? What the fuck is a rock drill? I, I think so. Uh, I, it's like, just like a handheld. You know that like, thing they put on the street and go like, baga, 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 oh baga, yeah, baga, yeah, baga, yeah, yeah. And like break concrete. Yeah, I think that's one of the new game plus items you get, and it's like super slow but real powerful. Yeah, that was actually a really good impression of that thing. I'm not even kidding. Like I didn't know what it was, and then you said that, and I was like, I know exactly what that is. I've seen those before. I, you know, I, I feel do, like that'd be I've, a rough I've, job. I'm, like your teeth would shatter. Oh my gosh, yeah, just all the fillings would fall out. Yeah, all the fillings. It does seem like a thing that like you may want to mouth guard on. Sure, sure. I mean, they probably got those, right? There's probably some sort of like regulations. It probably not. You know, that's that's. If you think there should be regulations on it, there's a good chance uh, that someone high up went, "Nah, that's too much money," and there's no regulations on it. So, like, we don't care about safety. We yeah. We care about profits. The almighty dollar. Oh, Fungus Fire says that's a jackhammer. Is that not a... Maybe this is a Japanese term. Is that different? Is it called a rock crusher? Maybe it's a Japanese term for jackhammer. Yeah. <laughs> Spear, jackhammer, Goldberg wins. Yep. Oh, fucking Bill Goldberg. He plays Santa in Santa's sleigh, and I love that movie. Is it a horror? Does he play evil Santa? Yeah, it's a it's a comedy horror movie uh, where Santa is actually a demon mm. uh, that was tricked into uh, a bet that if he lost, he had to be good for like two thousand years or whatever. Oh! And the the two thousand years is finally up, so Santa just goes on a on a, on a spree. killing spree. God, it's so funny! I love that movie. I love com I love horror comedy, but good for Santa. I love Bill Goldberg movies. That's my favorite genre of movies. I don't think I could name another one. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he was in that Ready to Rumble movie, which had a bunch of wrestlers in it. There's it's that's possible. Not a, that's not a good movie. But it, it's a movie. It's a David Arquette movie. Diamond Dallas movie. Page was in it. It's good enough for <laughs> Diamond Dallas true. Page. It's good enough for me. Apparently, he was in Universal Soldier. Oh, like uh, one of the sequels. If you weren't for it. Oh, what are we doing on this roof? Living roof life? You're gonna you're gonna fight a moth, I think. Get the fuck. Or maybe out you do it here. in the dark world. I better not have to fight a moth. In this economy, a whole moth. Yeah. Uh, yo, know, Rube Goldberg is a thing. John Blay Wombly, you're Goldberg's not having like any a little puzzle. Thing. Like a Rube Goldberg's like a. It's yeah, like, like that game Mousetrap is like a Rube Goldberg machine where you set up. Like yeah. Knock a domino over and ten thousand things happen and then. Yeah, uh, a series of events that eventually accomplish a task. Yeah, a lemony snicket, if you will. Just Why do people fear moths? I think it has something to do with when you go to her room, which is like one of the last rooms in this game. There's like a whole collection of moths. Oh, yeah. That's um, like one of the puzzles I think has to do with like, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, she has like a, a bunch of moths and like cases that she's like, you know, yeah. specimen jar, whatever thing. I, I think the moth is something with, like, a corrupted version of a protector because she liked him or something. I don't remember. Gotcha. It's been a long time. It's been a while. Uh, and the Switch with a one instead of an eye uh, has subscribed with those Bezo bucks for two months. Thank you. Thank you so much, the Switch. Jesse, did you Cheers. hear the news? Switch might be delayed till next year. <laughs> Say what? The new Switch might be delayed till next year. Oh yeah, yeah. The new the new rumor is Q one twenty five, which is very oh, close to the wow. twenty twenty one that we all thought. 
it was going to come out. We all? Don't you dare put me in that category. It was, team, it was a team effort. There's no I in team. I fought that. No I in team. Every breath. No I in team. Against everybody else here who were like, no, 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 Switch Prime is totally coming. I saw, I saw the rumor. And I was like, it's not happening. There's no I in team, but there is an I in meat pie. <laughs> meat is an anagram of team. Uh, yeah, after what would that that'll be what eight nine years of the switch? Mm, eight 2025 we are, would be we are just about to hit the seventh anniversary of the switch. It came okay. out. Whoa, March 3rd. Maybe we'll have an HBD. Oh, shoot. No, we were coming up on wow, an HBD. HBD. HBD Breath of the Wild. Could we possibly? It's only a seventh HBD. I, any you can do any BD as an HBD, right? Yeah, you don't have to still, do it's like not, big numbers. Yeah, it's it's the happens on the day that's what matters. Yeah. Also, all you guys are going to be flying in fucking D.C. We do whatever we want. That's right. <laughs> There's still cops. <laughs> Famously, no cops in D.C. <laughs> oh, what did this guy do? Did he just kill, oh. did he kill his dog? I don't trust this guy at all. Let me tell you. You shouldn't. No. Uh, that man, huge, huge part of the problems in this town. <laughs> he is a, he is a bad guy. Stop. Don't shoot. Wait. <laughs> I also like afraid. that reaction to a gun. Yeah. Like that's that's Harry a good Mason. reaction. Yeah. It's like, just, oh no. Power in the corner. Yeah. Oh, like God. open the door behind you and leave. Do you work here? My favorite cutscene in this game is when uh, I'm Doctor. What's Mike the nurse's Cal. name? The I main, work like, at this hospital. The, 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 oh, Lisa. Lisa. So when when she kind of realizes on. everything, oh. she starts bleeding, and the music oh. that's playing, and like it's fucking gnarly. Oh my God. What a cutscene! Art mentioning, yeah. yeah. When I woke up, it was the 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 yeah, because it's he's the one person like throughout this whole game that's like you it's have no constant now. contact this with that is helping you. Yeah, where it's like Sybil, your is friendly and like you're working with her, but like she's mostly absent. Where like Lisa is there, and also Lisa is like. I'm just a nurse. Like, yeah. I don't know what I'm doing here. I don't have a gun. Everybody I'm scared. It isn't like she and a victim. Like, like, this guy got her, like, hooked on and fucking no. smashed. Uh -huh. Yeah. Don't exist. Yeah, like, she's a victim of a lot. And yeah. then yeah. that moment where she's like, I'm not like them. I'm not like them. And she's like, I am like them. Yeah. And then the realization. Blood, and, yeah. it, and you just shut that door. And then you... She's you only just seven. hear her crying. Oh, oh yeah, gosh, wait, he's absolutely a dipshit. He just leaves her. He's just like, oh, I'm peacing out. <laughs> I'm like, that's real dipshit. She <laughs> She's like, I am dying. <laughs> Help me. And he's like, I can't. I'm just too much. Okay, but if you're dying, like, you don't just die in Silent Hill. Like, whatever's on the other side of that door is no longer Lisa. Listen, and it's probably something that's going to eat him. We, she died well, they you. killed the kidding. lizard. <laughs> I don't want to include me in this because I definitely did not kill that lizard. But if we, if he could kill that lizard, he could deal with that. Well, she, if, as long as she doesn't turn into a lizard. I can't just sit around here doing nothing. She might. You don't know. She might turn into a lizard. This is very possible. She turns into a lizard. There's no way of knowing. Uh, all right, we're reaching uh, reaching the end of the stream. Uh, Jesse, uh, first off, thank yeah. you so much for joining me for this wonderful oh my 25th gosh. HBD for Silent Hill. Thank you for having me. I think the my I couldn't think of a better thing to do than HBD uh, Silent Hill with you. We're gonna One celebrate by firing games. off twenty five a uh, twenty five gun salute. <laughs> uh, Silent Hill, <laughs> Silent Hill. Uh, Jesse, what do you uh, what do, what do you have going on? What should folks check out? Obviously, Adventures Night. And if you didn't hear, folks, uh, the finale is not this weekend. It is going to be next weekend. It is a extra beefy episode with a ton of wild uh, animations. So just take a little more time on it before the big trip to uh, DC. Yep. Fun fact: I'm working on that. Episode, oh, so. behind the camera and in I, front of it. Yeah. So you know, if you see some animations that you uh, don't like in this latest episode that'll come out next week, uh, I didn't do them. Was uh, my fault. But I did wasn't the ones you do like. Wasn't my fault at all. Can't... No, I'm very excited. I'm I'm doing animations for it, and I'm, it's been really fun. Yeah. Uh, it's it's such a such a cool thing. So uh, next week, last episode of season three, Adventures and I will be out, and I'll be an animator in it so who mm -hmm. uh and then rexicon jesse twitch twitter blue sky all that jazz youtube uh and you check out some of my stuff and then i did a fight sized on mortal sin yeah 
which I just gushed about because yeah, it a, absolutely hooked me. I've been playing video. it after the the review, which is like a rare thing. You know something's good. You know it's, yeah. something's good if you're if you're playing it uh, after your work is done. Right. So it got it. It's hooks in me hard, and I. So if you want to watch that, check that out. Uh, it's it's a really good game. Heck yeah. Uh, and then, yeah, you can uh, check out, speaking of Bite Size, my Final Fantasy Bite Size uh, went up yesterday. Um, I'll have more on that game. I'll probably probably stream it at some point next week. Uh, once the embargo is up, check that out. And then, uh, yeah, we should have uh, tomorrow, um, Frost and Will should be streaming in the morning. I think there's a newly released, though Amy's not here, so we might be doing it with someone else. But uh, next week should be a normal uh, stream schedule, and then... Uh, the following few weeks is going to be a little weird. Some some off scheduled streams, some normal streams not happening when they do, just because so many folks are going to be in and out uh, between uh, Adventures Night Season Four and uh, the GDC trip. But uh, yeah. yeah, and then you can also follow me on my personal Twitch channel. I'll be streaming later tonight. Uh, probably finishing up uh, the aforementioned Resident Evil Two remake. Um, so tune in for that. And then yeah, other than that, thank you guys uh, so much. Oh. Oh. What do you got going on? I forgot Hot Monday Energy. Oh, HME? We'll be, yeah, Hot Monday Energy. That'll be on Monday That'll at 7 Eastern, 6 oh Central. God, uh, Listen, as, and uh, then it won't, I got to experience a little bit of Hot Monday Energy uh, filling in for you this yeah. week. And let me tell you, that energy's hot. Oh, there is, <laughs> whoa, I did not expect it. I came in because I get the residual. I get leftover Tuesday yeah. energy when I stream. Like people are still oh, like, yeah. bringing the Hot Monday there. And let me tell you, it was, whoo, it was wild. Yeah. You cook pizza on that. <laughs> you can absolutely cook pizza on that. Uh, and uh, Tara hurts uh, my personal channel. I'll drop. A, I'll drop a link to my personal channel just because. There, there, there. Oh, Eric, thank you so much for doing that. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much. Uh, I hope you guys have a, a wonderful rest of your afternoons, and we'll leave you. Uh, we'll leave you with a little with a little drowsy, and then uh, we'll see you all later. Bye, everyone. Bye.